Welcome to tonight's episode of Evenfall here on Arcane Arcade. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, I just want to give a big thank you to everybody who has been. You're welcome. Uh, should, oh, well, thank you. Yes, at you, Logan. Um, I just want to give a big thank you to everybody who watches the stream and, and um, yeah. has been uh, just uh, enjoying the game and all that stuff. Um, we have a lot of fun reading like comments and seeing fan art and uh, reading all your guys' theories and in, in uh, the Discord and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was just a lot of uh, moments these past couple of weeks where I've looked back and been like, oh my gosh, this is crazy what this has become. So that's all thanks to you guys. So thank you very much for, for tuning into the stream. Um, I never really expect anything much out of it. We're really just playing to have fun and. Uh, uh, we're glad that you guys are here and that that uh, that you like it. So uh, today's episode and all future episodes, hopefully, um, are sponsored by uh, G Fuel. Um, I'm drinking G Fuel. It's the clear flavor, also known as water. <laughs> I am drinking <laughs> Scorpion Bowl drink. IPA out of a mug. Mm. Uh, you can get yourself some Go Fuel uh, at their website. Uh, there's a link in the description. And if you use code Fireball, you can get 30% off your next purchase. And 30% off code is live right now because Wizard did some shit um, on my other channel. So go check it out. It's already started. Bob said hi through 100 bits at us on Twitch. Wow, um, thank you so much. And actually, that allows me to segue into, hey, we have a Twitch integration with D&D Beyond now. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's it's cool. And it works pretty yeah, well. Can see <laughs> so stuff, you can so. see our health and whatnot in uh, in real time. So um, <laughs> oh we're also affiliated over there now, which is awesome. And if you guys want to check out the stream over there. on Twitch, uh, feel free to. Um, you can. St we're still gonna stream to YouTube. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there's no harm in opening two tabs. <laughs> um, unless, you're in of course, your bandwidth unless is. Unless you're limited. in a rural area. <laughs> um, also, want to give a big shout out to our patrons. Oh, nice. That I didn't load up again. God damn it. <laughs> I, I even bought you time with the Twitch thing. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you I forgot. forgot in that two in the two nice. moments. Thanks um, for the bits. Um I am, by the way, I'm gonna work on integrating uh both YouTube and uh Twitch donations and whatnot into the stream so that mm -hmm. people can see when, you know, when you guys uh when you guys donate or when people sub, since you can sub over on Twitch too now. So I'm going to work on that, uh, but it's been a busy week. So just 
Heads up, thanks to every, anyone that subs and He's all ready. that. And um, Jacob's going to read some patrons now. <laughs> Holy shit. If you want to support us over on Patreon, uh, we'll shout your name out at the beginning of each stream. And all of the money that goes over there goes into upgrading things like Tyler's microphone. Now he has a good one, and he doesn't sound like shit. So big <laughs> shout out to Echu, Me <laughs> Melody Olvera, Mike Salomon, Cal the God, Will Pratt, possibly related to Chris Pratt, <coughs> Penguin Culture, Adam, that wasn't like, I wasn't doing a bit, that was his That's name. Just the his name. name right here says Will Pratt, possibly related to Chris Pratt. Oh. Uh, Penguin Culture, Adam Halleck, Arthur Sulza, I said it right. Mimi H, Angriest Bird God, Rick Oz Osborne, Grant Thatcher, Josh Travis, Autismo has the big gay, <laughs> Mama Love and Papa Joy, Pimp in the Hood, and Patrick Skiffstad. So thank you guys so much for supporting us. We appreciate it. We love you. Now, with everything out of the way, let's jump into tonight's game of Evenfall. So last we left off, you guys were in... Uh, the city of Gleam Rock and trying to find the source to whatever's going on with the Shadowfell portals opening all over Regia. You had a run in the very beginning of the campaign with a dragon rider who stole <laughs> some sort of uh, cargo that you guys were moving along a wagon trail that Lelia almost yeeted her life into. Uh, you guys decided to track this guy down after uh, doing some Shadowfell business in the city of Whitmore, coming across uh, this strange individual named Igbert. Uh, you made your way towards the north, towards this place called Gleamrock, this town that had been destroyed by the soldiers from Thelagon, a, far, a very far away place. Um, there's no way that they should have gotten into the middle of this country out of nowhere. Um, the Prince of Aregia, who had asked you to do this, Klaziker, uh, figures it may have been some sort of shadow fell shenanigans and that you guys should check that out. Upon coming to the city, it was desolated. People were dead and uh, the town had been completely evacuated and abandoned, except for a couple of refugees, um, adventurers, wanderers, bandits. Um, they had formed a small community inside the town of living off the rooftops um, as a Sleeping on the ground in this town meant certain death. You would be sucked into the into the ground um, with uh, nothing left. You guys decided to investigate that to see what was going on, thinking there may be some connection. You made your way to this giant rock called the Gleam Rock and made your way in to find a bunch of kobolds um, who had trapped the entire place up. Um, and after reversing gravity and destroying their entire home, um, setting a blaze to the entire place, they yeeted themselves out with all of their treasure out of an escape hole. And you guys made your way deeper into the caves, knowing that there was something more sinister going on. The distant thumping and um, uh, uh, these deep kind of grinding mining sounds coming from uh, deep within uh, the ground here. You guys were chased by a boulder. Stibbles shit his pants. Um, I'm you fine guys now, fought I some strange ship. undead zombies that exploded upon death. There were dwarves that were mining away in uh, in these tunnels, and also fought this strange creature called a Zorn, a um, rocky-like um, uh, being with tendrils that uh, moved through stone like it was water, um, and uh, took anybody who uh, had treasure on them um, in order to take their treasure or uh, any valuable belongings. As you guys made your way through, you found a door, you made your way through the door, you saved some badgers, and um, we're heroes. And you made your way around the corner and found that uh, the, the, the pounding in the walls is getting louder and louder. And you guys came to the end of this cave hurt, near, some of you near death, some of you almost have, having died um, to two ways that you can, uh, a crossroads. Two tunnels that kind of uh, um, slope downwards that go deeper into the earth with uh, mine carts on, on um, railroads. And uh, that's where we left off. You guys are in this room. You have no idea what time it is as nobody has the keen mine feet. And it has been a while since you've seen the sun. Um, and you are here. Don't, don't Left and right. <laughs> don't mine tempt carts. me. What <laughs> are you doing? Hello. Um... Well then, Are I wonder they, if uh, they both lead the same way. Got it. 
Are there mine carts? Are they are they just mine tracks? Well, they're mine tracks, and then there's carts at the at right in front of you. So so right here, these like square things, those mm -hmm. are those are mine carts, um, and each of them looks to maybe fit about three people, or um, six gnomes. Mm, Sibbles, you go over and you sit in it, and it kind of wobbles a bit, almost mm -hmm. going down the track. You said each Wait, one. Wait, is it, is it sloped downward? Yeah, so like it's about oh. straight. It's level here, and then it slopes down ex around the end of it. You said each it, one it fits kind of three. Down. Each one or fits six three gnomes. or six gnomes. Is there any way? That's how we size things from now on. Yeah, it's about two gnomes. Tall. Can I get um, Terry the rat on the stat block if he didn't die, or uh, just like a little sure thing of him? A rat. Cool. Um, Sorry to kind of. Okay. Is there any way to know? which direction the sound is coming from, or is it just like both ways the sound's coming from? You can make a perception check. <sighs> Based on your to... hearing. Based on uh, my hearing? Uh, I'm better at that. <gasps> Natural 20. Ooh. Um. Thank you. Roll the game. Mm -hmm. They both, that there seems to be no difference between the two. Hmm. Maybe they do go the same way then. They want a way to find out, and that's by scooting slowly forward in this cart. Who's joining me? Well, it's going to pull a, a coin out of their pocket, flip it into the air, slap it on their wrist, and go, we must need to go this way. And Kurt hops into the, the cart with Stibble. And... Well, I think it it seems to be, yep, yep, boop. Without words, he's just like, nope. Yep, core, core as well. <laughs> Everyone core piles into the other one. Makes yeah. a way over here. No, his decision was, upon seeing Kurt move, went the other one. <laughs> All right, you, sh you should be able to control the rat now, Colton. I mean, Logan. Colton. I, should oh, have, okay. I should have an owl. You want it? Oh, fine, I'll get you a damn owl. I want a cool pet. Um, also, uh, I know I know. Normally, we don't do this, and uh, any other donations or whatnot will be uh, will be at the break. Come on now, yeah, um, we'll, we'll read them at the break, guys. Yeah, but uh, there was Except one. Well, one. one guy donated ten or five uh, subs on Twitch, and I just wanted to that's... call that out because it's the first gift subs. So, oh, thanks, that's kind guys. Of a lot, isn't yeah, it? other than that, anything that's like forty bucks. So anything, hey, anything, so anything else will be on uh, the break, though. I forgot to say Hell that yeah. to start. Shoot it. Uh, um, you guys all have your pets now. Upon seeing uh, the group that I'm with, I'll glance over at uh, Lilia and kind of do like a, uh, should I move or are you fine with um, that group? <laughs> <laughs> she just like, she, uh, she doesn't or really like, you can't sit with us. <laughs> and just kind of Lilia, the come on. Our fate. Come on in. There's plenty of room. Mm -hmm. Stibbles is small. They could fit approximately six of me, and there's only Sorry. one. Is there a lever? There is not a lever. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, Lily, you Kurt climbs out. Lily, you get in first, and then um, I'll push to get us started, and then I'll just hop in. All right. I'll scoot forward then. I scoot forward. Okay. Well, yeah, so I guess it would be it's Stibbles, Lelia, and then Kurt on the uh, outside, like oh, cool God. runnings. It. I'm in the front. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> and you're like you're gonna push it and then jump in. Yeah, push it, jump in, and then like scoot up really close to Lelia and just sort of like wrap my my arms <laughs> around. Perfect. Um, I, normally I wouldn't want to roll, but can you um, make a dexterity <laughs> check? Roll. Just a basic dexterity check. I want to see what happens. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to um, oh, no. use Tides of Chaos. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I'm going to take advantage on this one, and, uh, and then the ball's in your court. Great, that card just kind of disintegrates. Yeah. Well, he's doing <laughs> that. I'm going to pull out yourself. my two little Buzz Lightyear <laughs> blasters and get ready. Um, That was a... Uh, let's see. Acro acrobatics or athletics? Uh, just dexterity. Just dex. Oh, dexterity. Uh, 18. Okay. So uh, Kurt does it pretty seamlessly. Uh, just uh, gets on the back of the cart, pushes it. It's actually pretty easy um, to push it forward. Um, and you kind of just hop in. Um, like, just like both arms go up and then uh, your legs just push inwards. Uh, Kurt's quite nimble and just sits down right next to you, Lelia. And the two, and uh, uh, Philip. Oh, I thought, I thought of it more like, like, 
right behind Lelia, like Ooh, almost sure. like like spooning, and then like just scooted up right right up as close. She as is possible. so Perfect. tense and so not You're sandwiched between this. two. Lelia insane is pieces. like almost all armor though, so yeah. <laughs> so like it's <laughs> not very comfortable, but you feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, her, uh, sorry, Philip, Cor, and Phelan. You guys watch as the other one just shoo, 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 and just starts to um, make its way down. It, get, it gathers up some speed. You guys are going pretty fast. Yes. Does anyone have any ideas, or should I just replicate that? Probably for that would work. Is it possible? Right. I'm sorry to cut in, Jacob. If I were to prepare acid splash for anything I see that moves, you can do that. I would like to do that. Anything that moves, you will huck an acid splash. Cool. Um, See it so at the cart. <laughs> after uh, Phelan and Cor get into the other cart, Philip will try to do what uh, right, he saw can you Kurt do. Also, make a dexterity check. Yes, but I do not have a. Oh, shoot. Are you I've planning dropped. to spoon Phelan or Cor? Who is? Who would be in front of me? I assume <laughs> I would be in the middle because I was the second oh. one to come out. Oh so. well, then <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, t- I'm not going to like actively spoon. try to touch Cor. Probably quite the opposite. I, I was joking. Make... Go ahead and roll. Okay. <laughs> Um, Probably good be onto the sides of the cart rather than onto the person. Uh, yeah, Kurt's like, I could grab this, but or, no. <laughs> just a dex check. Yeah, uh, that's an eighteen. All right, cool. You do the same thing. You get in, and almost like the weight of you jumping into the cart is enough for it to start moving down. And for the three of you and everybody else, this is a fast descent. It's like. And you guys are moving, you're like zero to like 10 miles per hour to like 40 immediately. And it's Uh as you guys are making your way down and you feel like uh, the rumbling underneath it. Uh, Philip, you look off to the side and you can actually, the cave actually opens up and you can Uh see the other cart with the other friends in it moving along. You see Stibbles holding onto the front, his tiny little hands and his hat is just (laughs) beating Lelia in the face. (laughs) As Kurt's in the back holding on to Lelia. (laughs) Philip will probably style. take yeah, his glasses yeah. off. <laughs> Philip will probably take his glasses off and like mm-hmm. put them away so they don't fly off. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you guys start to uh, just make your way down. Very, it's not like insanely fast, but I mean, you guys don't typically ride things that move faster than 30, 40 miles an hour. So this right. is like pretty quick. And you guys are going uh, like fast down How this. How are we gonna uh, stop? <laughs> and it begins to like turn and damage. move and uh it's, it's it's strange because like it, it goes past other like um uh mining areas like there's an open way there's nobody there and you just kind <laughs> of zip past it and the two that you guys can occasionally still see see one another um until like there's like a rock wall that blocks it for a little while and then it it um it comes back and you guys can see one another again and as you're doing this, Shit. Uh, Stibbles, you keeping an eye out, being on alert on your side, uh, notice that uh, the rock around you is moving at the same pace as you. It's like it's like it was moving past you, and then now it's like static. And you're watching, and you see an eye open up on one side as as, it, as it's just yep. Go ahead and uh, <laughs> dexterity save, right? Uh, I think so. Let me check. Yes, dex save of twelve. What the fuck? Cool. Same thing happens for you guys, uh, Phelan. You notice that it's like this strange sensation of like movement, and then the walls stop moving, but you see that you're still moving, and then an eyeball opens up, and you see like the mouth open up once again. There are now two Zorn following you guys along these um, these uh, uh, tracks, trying to stop. Is you. it possible to uh, throw an elder spots at it? It will be on initiative. Um, oh, that's a I natural know? one on that deck save. Oh boy! Oh fuck! Go uh, yes. Do spells yes. do double damage? Um, do spells do no 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 natural okay. one deck save. That is two acid damage. Two acid damage. We're every level four, not five. Shoot. Yeah, every little bit counts. He could survive with one or two damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Health. So um I don't have a map for you guys, but we're just gonna use this right here. Oh, I'm gonna boy. go ahead and just keep everybody kinda in separate spots so I can ah. see them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, one here, and you got one here. Okay, uh, let's have everybody Boy. roll initiative. We're in danger. <laughs> oh, I rolled a d12. I'm dumb. <laughs> You're doing the Jordan plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, man, why am I only rolling 12? Oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> mm-hmm. For those of you that don't know, uh, watching, we played an entire game of 
Carbon, which is like a cyberpunk 5e uh, game that Jordan ran. And it was awesome. We were so badass. And at the end of the game, we found out that Jordan was only a D12 the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it a D20 that only went up to, to 10? 10. You're right. yes, it was yeah. a D20 yes. that only went up to 10. That's we're like, right, dude, yeah. your rolls are so bad. But we felt so great. I want to yeah. buy one of those. So yeah, it's not that I had a D12 sized dice. I had a D20 sized <laughs> shaped dice. It <laughs> just didn't have complete numbers oh, on it. Uh... Jor Jordan, what is that D20 designed for? Because I remember it has a design purpose. Um, Fucking you up. I, can, I, I cannot Fudging. for the life of me remember. I um, Okay. Cause... That it, that one came in a bag of dice that I uh, my my buddy Jay mm. moved to New York and he was getting rid of all this stuff and I he had a little skull bag of <laughs> dice and I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> I just Googled like D20s with only and then it auto-completed to only 20. Oh. <laughs> the very yes. original D&D &D box set came with D20s that had zero to nine faces. You rolled them alongside another die and picked odds even or high. Oh, okay. Wow. Weird. Weird. Okay, whatever. All right, this uh, was like Kurt, the OG. Initiative. Mm -hmm. 18. 18, awesome. Oh, uh, right. um, everybody, you guys are putting yours in. Yeah, I put mine in. Hold on. You can roll for Did your you raven get a too. negative yeah, one? Yes. Hey, uh -huh. um, Jordan, I'm just Dibbles. checking. Uh, uh, nine. When you adjust your health as Kurt, do you adjust it in D&D &D Beyond as well? No, I have a, uh, I, should I? If you could, that would be amazing. I very, I have very rarely, I'm using D&D &D Beyond now, but I've been using my paper right sheet so right. um yeah if you uh, want to 15 of 20 though i will i will update awesome um and <laughs> stibbles can you roll for terry the rat and uh core can you roll for your owl oh yeah i forget that those get their own initiative oh yes where they wanted your your owl Sorry, and second. now you're like oh yeah well i forget that their initiative is at the same time or yeah. it isn't the same dragging you because i can not. Terry got a five. Oh shit, the owl yes. got a 19. I had a name for the owl too. Oh, I think I remember. Do you have his stat block up on D D Beyond, Logan? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. He's just, if you uh, wanted to do it in roll 20, you can, but either one is fine. Yeah, it's. I'm just rolling literal dice. No, that's fine. Um, all right, Phelan, you are first. Oh, how much damage did you do to that to that boy? Uh, Me? Two. Oh, okay. I was Ooh, like, nice. I didn't. <laughs> Epic. For the Burn him a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, can we see the, the no health? Okay. I mean, I did something. Go for it, Phelan. So, um, I, I'm just, how close is it to us? Like, um, I would say five feet. Um. Like, just, you could reach out and touch it. Like, the oh wall God. is close. I just don't think it's a very good idea to try to hit it with a sword. <laughs> you just watch yeah. as the sword goes, whoop, whoop, and then you go, whoop. Maybe, maybe not at 40 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Break an arm and lose a sword. I mean, they're also going 40 miles an hour, so it's like going at zero. This is true. Yes, that's, that's how that works. It's the theory of relativity. It's more of just thinking of like, you know, if he misses and just watching that sword. That, yes. Then you were hitting a wall and then... Yeah, going... <laughs> just going like, oh, well, there it goes. Um, let me check. I suppose you get the tutor and you hit with the top. Uh, he's just going to cast Elder's Blast because All right, it's... Roll. Why not? I'm going to give you disadvantage because you were within five feet. True. Crap. Okay. It actually wasn't much better. This time it's a 10. 10? 10 yeah. misses. He's either a 10 well, or a 12. Well, it doesn't really miss. You still hit the wall, but it doesn't look like you hurt it. You just hit the wall. Uh-oh. Uh That's, That's exactly turn. what he says. Yep. All right. Uh, it's your Raven, Lelia. Raven's doing absolutely nothing. Great. That's a smart uh, Raven. It is now your owl's turn, Cor. All right. Um... So we got that and I'll boy. say that you guys are that distance from one another at the current moment. Gotcha. 
So that means that that thing is right next to us. Yeah. yeah. Well, if we're going to talk like where it actually is, it should more be like right here. But I'm putting it here so you can see the health bar. Right. Uh, I'm talking about the one down here. You can put you can put them both. You can put them. You can put them up like that. Other. That's fine. Uh, yeah, like that. We, we can see the health bars. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Okay. Uh. Both both Philip and Phelan wear armor, yeah. Mm, as far as your yep. Does Phelan have like leathers, like like armor, like? Give me a second. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Pretty sure Phelan wears armor. Well, I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's leather, so there's. Okay. Are no. you asking for metal? On no, it? just armor in general. Okay. Yes, he's wearing armor. In general. All right. Uh. Let me remember how the fuck. I think the I think the owl's just gonna kind of hang out like and not do anything and be like behind me. Um, but okay. I just want to make sure because I can cast spells through it. But when I cast a spell through it, it must be within 100 feet. It must use its reaction to. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not doing that. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, Kurt, it's your turn. Bird is going to uh, stick their finger in their nose and pull oh, it out and say "booger" and then flick it, and then as the like booger flies across the air, it becomes an undulating mass of chaotic energy. Okay. Um, rolling for uh, just like a normal booger. Range spell attack and um, <clears throat> chaos surge. Cool. No surge. You have disadvantage, uh, but it's a ranged spell attack, yeah? It's yeah. within five feet of you. Okay. Let me roll um, another I was half expecting you to be like, Kurt pulls out a booger, flicks it on Lilia, and that's the end of their turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, 18 to hit. That's, that, wow, that hits. Yeah, roll damage. Okay, I have to do a whole lot now, because my crit surge just went up, because I didn't roll a surge. All right, um, and I forgot how this one works because it's been forever since I've played D and D. All right, right. so I know, let's do. Okay. Oh, and I'm casting it at a second level. So. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like one of the d8s you roll determines the damage that it is. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it uh, it becomes an acid damage. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey. You and Stibbles just <laughs> loading it with acid. Yeah, um, so uh, only eight points of damage, though. All right, that's fine. It's only better than two. It's true. Shut <laughs> your fucking mouth. <laughs> Sorry, I it's like only, but it's like, oh, he's he's rolling two, two dice. Yeah, you, you <laughs> hurl <mind>. acid across <laughs> uh, uh, the Oh, it's disgusting. You, you like pull out a booger, flick it, it's just acid, psh, it, like burns <laughs> the wall. Um, yeah. Lily can make of that of what she thinks. She sees Kurt as acidic snot. Uh, is that your turn, Kurt? It is. It is my turn. Great, Core. It's your turn. All right. Um, man, I don't want to. It stibbles you are on deck after one of the Zorn. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna test something. So. Um, I'm going to, you know, pull, pull out the uh, pull out the rapier and uh, kind of run it against my uh, my cloak. And when I run okay. it against it, uh, almost it's almost like static electricity runs across the uh, the gemstone uh, inlaid. And then with the pommel, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of bop the creature, and oh, I'm cool. casting uh, shocking grasp. Awesome, cool roll attack. Bop it. Uh, Thirteen to hit. Um, you reach out towards the wall. Um, it, well, it's not that you reach out; you hit it uh, up against the wall, and it's like it's like you strike direct stone, and the and the electricity seems to just get absorbed by by the rock. Part of me is wondering if I don't know. All right, um, that will be. Would I be able to get like half cover with the minecart? You want to duck? Yeah. Yeah, you can have you can have full cover if you if you duck far enough. Uh, I wasn't aware I could have done that. Uh, Dang it. 
Oh well. <laughs> Phelan sees I, Cord Duck. And I assume like, that's a good idea. I assume it would be impossible to pull Phelan with me. Yeah. I then I mean, yeah. instead, can I shove Phelan down and me be in position to take the hits? <laughs> you know. push him down. <laughs> I mean, no, it's the it's same thing as what you're doing. I'll let you pull Phelan down if you want to. Just Phelan? Or... Yeah, sure. Cool. I'll yeah, just... and you couldn't pull, pull both of them. Yeah, I'll push Phelan down and keep myself up. <laughs> no, you can go down too is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, perfect. The two of you can. All right, so uh, <laughs> Kor just pulls you down, Phelan, so you, you're, you're, you're blocked from the creature. Yeah, he okay. kind of reacts and just kind of... You just look and you're just... Standing there, you're the only. You're just catching all the wind. Duck. Uh, I, lo I looked at Philip, and I'm like, duck. Uh, the the Zorn does not like that you guys are destroying it with acid right now, uh, Kurt and Stibble. Uh, <laughs> so it is going to um, thwack you. It's going to. Uh, it's going to use one of its claws. One of the, uh, a claw kind of comes out of the ceiling as it's moving along the mine track with you, and it's going to just try to like, psh, like strike one of you. Well, all right then. Uh, Kurt, mm -hmm. uh, how's a 24? Uh -oh. Yeah, that uh, meets it, beats it. <laughs> meets it, beats it. Uh, that is seven <laughs> slashing damage. Oof. Actually, you know what? I have. Fuck you. I have. Wait. Mm, I don't know if my shield would even. Would that even. It just adds five. And that was 24. Mm -hmm. My AC is. Nope. Yeah, I'll just. Yeah, that all right, that's that's all it does is it just reaches out and psh, kind of nicks you a bit. And how much was uh, that? It's five? Seven. Seven. Philip, it is your turn. What? Uh, yeah, it's not Did my I turn. It's, yeah, you skipped us. You just doubles. said I was on deck. It's your turn. You poop your head. It's your turn. Uh, I'm going to cast. <laughs> yeah, you know what it's like in my brain. <laughs> cast Moonbeam. Moonbeam? Uh, yeah, so yeah. it's it's going to be centered on that fucker. So I think this is another save. This yep. should be a constitution's. Oh, fuck. Ooh, Oops. It's so bad at those. Oh, 14. I know. Yeah, no, it, it beats it. Does it and then I'm, I'm going to... Uh, oh, yeah, it does. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, duck under cover. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, it's not hard for you to get full cover. Okay. It takes uh, three radiant damage. Nice. And I'm gonna try and make the moonbeam like consistently trail with that thing. Cool. So there's yeah, just yeah, yeah. It's, beam. it's just it's more just like a beam just shooting at the wall like a flashlight, and it's just like <laughs> like burning it as it's like moving along. Um, Philip, now it's your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna duck down. <laughs> just duck down with him. We're just like, eh, fuck okay. this thing. Uh, <laughs> it is We're the smart group. I know. Uh, it is that Zorn's turn. <laughs> it it, it <laughs> sees that you guys have all ducked. Um, and it, it, wow. uh, it's going to, um, attack the cart. I was, uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, gets smart ten. it gets a 10. You guys, you guys who are all ducking, uh, core, uh, Phelan and Flip, you guys are all looking at each other and you just feel the whole thing ping, kind of move to the side, ping, it gets hit again. Um, and then, uh, as you kind of look up to, um, oh, well, that's it. That's all you do. Um, you just feel the, the, the mine cart get hit a couple of times. Uh, T Terry the rat's turn. What? Uh, Terry's gonna try and bite the Zorn. Okay. He's hopped up on PCP. He can do anything, but he got a six, so he can't he do, can anything. do anything. He bites a pebble and it hurts his mouth. <gasps> Screams in agony. <laughs> <laughs> like a really human scream. No, the everybody way else. That broke your mic was so funny. <laughs> everybody else. But Stibbles hears, you know, a rat scream, but Stibbles hears the human scream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, Lelia, it's your turn. Um, seeing that the, the Zorn hit Kurt, uh, she's going to cast Warding Madness, aka Sanctuary, on Kurt. Okay, you uh, cast Sanctuary on Kurt. Yep, yeah, and then uh, Invigorated Soul falls to life on herself. All right. Oh, I got I'll max update your bar here. How much is that? Eight. Is this Fairness. technically defamation that we're using Terry the Rat uh, in the opposite of the way he was presented and designed? What? <laughs> A public mascot against drugs, and we're describing him as though he's on PCP fighting Zorns. <laughs> this is just who he is now, man. 
I mean, All if right. you think about it, look, Martha, look, yeah. look, guys, look, guys. This isn't this isn't us trying to trying to defame him. This is just our interpretation. Yeah. So at the, top, at the top of this round, the mine carts are moving along. You guys are rattling down this um, these uh, these caves, and it starts to get faster and faster. And the Zorn are trying to keep up. This moment, you guys watch as the two of you start getting closer to each other and closer, and then Kurt, Stibbles, and Lelia, your guys' cart goes up um, into oh. another um, like area. Like you guys go upwards, and uh, Core. Uh, Phelan and Philip go down. You guys like cross over oh, one no. another and like move <laughs> into different directions. You guys cannot see one another anymore. This um, happens in every movie with mine carts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jacob and, clearly uh, set up the turns for this. I like it though. It's really cool. Phelan, uh, you have a past perception 22, <coughs> so I will give this to you. As you uh, I kind of move the intersection over and you, you turn over to the other side of the of this uh, minecart shaft and you guys are moving now back down um, and, and turning, uh, you feel like your stomach drop a bit as, as, uh, as you guys take like, uh, get a, a little bit of air as you're making your way down. Um, at the end of this tunnel, um, most of the way down, that's a good question I just gave myself in my brain. Is anybody casting light? I don't need light. Do Phelan, I. you can't see yep. shit. Yeah, I was gonna about to say. So Phelan, you're like, I wonder what's out there, and it's darkness. Okay. And didn't, he's didn't light. we uh, didn't we uh, have light on his sword? No, no I Lila believe had Stibbles had a tor torch. Stibbles had yes. a torch, and Lele casted light on herself, I believe. I didn't uh, keep no, the I torch. Did, so I did. cast light Same on again. Phelan. On Phelan's sword, yeah. But Perfect. how long ago was that? And, and is he out of range? Uh, there is no I, range on light. I don't there? believe it was more. It was light lasts an hour and ten minutes. It's not yeah. been an hour. Oh, okay. Uh, it lasts an hour. Okay, then you still have light in your sword. I know light only has a certain radius, but I will give this to you because your past perception is so good. I was about to say this is hilarious because everybody else is on Big Thunder Mountain uh, Railroad and you're on Space <laughs> Mountain. But uh, <laughs> you, you, with your sword out, you kind of look all the way to the end <laughs> of this uh, of this railroad track at about hundred feet down. You can see that the path uh, turns into into another like uh, kind of like crossroads. Um, one goes to the right and one goes to the left. The way to the right is um, it's caved in, and there is a lever in the center at the end of this of this area that will switch the uh, the 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 track back and forth. And the track is currently sitting on the direction that goes into the uh, into the collapsed tunnel. It is now your turn. <laughs> The limity, limity snicket. That little, whatever. That's a reach. Never mind. This is giving me anxiety. Not even the character. It's with Maybe, the music. Yeah, the character. But it's both. It's just both of us are just like, oh great, fantastic, we're gonna uh... die. Um, so would casting a, a spell at this uh, lever like actually turn it the way it's facing, or would one of them have to grab it? Um, roll a luck check. Roll a d100. Oh boy. Let's see if luck is in your favor. 500%, uh, 50%. 50%. 500. Yeah. It needs to be pulled. Okay. Um, Do we see that too, or does just Phelan see it? As of right now, just Phelan sees it. Okay. Panic. I don't have my uh, glasses on. Oh no. Oh yeah, you definitely don't see it. <laughs> uh. He's gonna probably be like, "There's, there's a lever. Uh, one of us has to pull it, and he's. It'd be core or him. Um, how close is it? Hundred feet. Hundred feet. And gaining. Uh, I can try if it gets close enough, and he's gonna get go for it if it's once if it can get close enough in the turn. Okay. Are you gonna hold your action to pull it if you get close enough? Yes. So cool. he's he's in the middle. No, he's at the front. So. Uh, he'll probably kind of like crouch up and Sounds good. death grip on one. <laughs> <laughs> and reaching out, perfect. Yeah. Um, it is uh, the Raven's turn. Uh, Lilia, you guys have gone up and uh, like the momentum has propelled you guys upwards and you yeah. are now on a downward slope once again. Uh, yeah, the Raven is just kind of cawing, freaking out, but not doing anything. Okay. Are you doing anything? Oh, that's just the Raven, sorry. That's uh, great is... terms. I'm way, way in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Core is your owl's turn. Kurt, you're on deck. Um, how big is this lever? How big is this lever? <laughs> it's about two feet in, in, in height. 
Okay. And I guess my other question would be, this is a bit of an odd one, uh, but not really. So what is, how, what is the closest it gets to the cart? What is the closest it gets? Like, is it close or is it like, like there's two rails and it's like in the middle? Oh no, it, it'll get about a foot away from the, from the minecart. That's the closest it'll get. Sorry, got Okay. Me. Okay. Uh... But you're currently like a hundred feet away from it. Right. Um, shit. Okay. All right. Uh, Al's not going to do anything, but Kor has an idea. Okay. Kurt, Kor, you're on deck. Um. <clears throat> Wait, what? Okay. Kurt, it's uh, Kurt's turn. Kor's on. I'll Sorry, I, I messed up the initiative thing. Um, we are going to... We're gonna go with another um, another chaos bolt. Okay, go for um, it. All right, um, and it's close, so it's disadvantage again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What? A crisis. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> Does twelve hit? 12 uh, misses, unfortunately. You fire, is this a chaos bolt? It was. Yeah, the chaos bolt just kind of flies over. It hits the wall perfectly fine. It just explodes a bunch of rock, though. It, it doesn't seem to hurt the creature. Um, is that your turn? Um, we don't have a lever coming up, do we? Um, do you want to look for one? Yes. Uh, roll a perception check. Let's see. 14. Sure do. About 80 feet away. Oh, no. <clears throat> and it's feet. a pretty similar situation. On the on the left, it goes into a, a, a cave-in, and that's where the railroad is currently, like, moving. Um, and the lever needs to be uh, needs to be pulled in order for it to move to the right. It's We're going to be set feet. on pulled, the same like, track. Pulled, um, like... I'm heading towards it. Do I need to push it, or I'm heading towards it and I need to pull it you need back? To pull it. You know, it needs to come back. So you can't just shoot it with something and knock it. Right. Over. That's exactly what I was going to try to do. Yep. Well, I mean, you could if you hit it from the back. But that's not how that Whoa. works. <laughs> no, what back. he's that's, saying is if yeah. you went past it and then hit it. But if you miss... <laughs> right, then you're screwed. Uh, that is my turn. I got nothing else. Okay. <laughs> Core. All right, so... All right, uh, can I just ask, are you alerting us to what's going on with the lever or not? Yeah, Kurt's like, there's a lever! <laughs> <laughs> and a cave-in! Oh, um, shit! <laughs> this is actually bad. Uh-oh. Um, all right, about how fast is the minecart moving? 40 really fast, miles right? an hour. All right, so really fast. Okay. Yeah, it's um, fucking fast. It's been a good game, guys. All right. <laughs> so here's my idea. You guys I'm gonna, just I'm gonna, <laughs> the walls and I'm gonna have to time it, but I'm going to prepare a misty step. As soon as I'm in range, I'm going to teleport, pull the lever, and then tell Philip and Phelan to pull me in. Okay. Are you telling that? To yeah, I'm going to tell them. I'm gonna say, be ready to pull me back in, and I'm preparing a misty step. Feeling your like arm is out, and you're like, uh, you're gonna be grabbing a core instead of a. Instead well, of a well, it's if that's true for us with the lever too, right? Like the lever needs to be pulled, not pushed. Yeah. So we can't just like pull it from the inside of the minecart. You can, but it would need to be incredibly fast and backwards. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna try the to do it that are way. Really instead. not in our favor there. Oh no, no! Yeah, it's like you you need a really high roll to pull that off. Okay, um, that's you're just preparing for that. Yep, I just I just kind of have the, um, I kind of so so for Misty Step, I imagine that I kind of grab at the cloak and kind of like mm -hmm. like swing down it, and it just kind of makes my entire body just kind of apparate there. So I just have my hand on my cloak, ready to do it. Got it. Um, the Zor needs to make a Wisdom save to attack Kurt. Correct. Yes. Ah shit, there's still those things. Well, if this um, fails, I'm dead. <laughs> I get a seven. Uh, a seven would fail. Cool. You're taking a hit, Lulia. 
Cool. <laughs> what? Calculating. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> that's an 18. Well, uh, that would hit. Oh no. Uh, it's nine damage. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so Kurt, uh, you're just, you know, uh, oh, Kurt attacked the creature though, didn't, uh, didn't they? He did. Wouldn't that make Sanctuary go away? No, the person that's actually sanctuaried has to do it. Well, Kurt, Kurt was sanctuary. sanctuary. Yeah, Kurt was sanctuary. Oh, Kurt was under the effects of it? Sanctuary. Yeah, then yeah, Kurt it would attacked, go away. So the sanctuary would go away. Um, so, Kurt, does an 18 hit you? Um, yeah, even if I use shield, it does, so. Yikes, that is, uh, that's, oof, that's nine. That's nine I'm out, damage. I'm down. <laughs> Kurt's like, there's a lever! It's <laughs> hidden, falls unconscious. It's all right. When we all die by getting squished into a a, a, a wall, Kurt won't even feel it. <laughs> already, already the moment dead. this cart has got Stibbles hiding, Lelia panicking, and Kurt just kind of like flailing off the back of it. <laughs> and we have no idea. Stibbles, it's your turn. Logan.exe is um, stopped working. <laughs> my mind is racing in a hundred different directions. Okay. Like the mine no, 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 I understand. Well, the minecart's only going in one direction, so. Yeah. But it's going just <laughs> as fast. Uh, yeah. So, if we're going 40 miles an hour, how much bludgeoning damage is that? Do you want to guess? Yeah. Um, if, if, like, jumping out would kill me. Not if you rolled good enough. You think you could roll in such a way that it wouldn't kill you. Okay. Um, Stibbles is going to administer his last potion of healing to uh, Kurt. Okay. Roll 2d4 <laughs> plus 2. Uh, uh, yeah, that would be me. So that is 6 health. <laughs> Kurt, you are knocked out and you immediately come back with uh -huh. potion flavor in your mouth. And then Stibbles just looks at both of you. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting <laughs> on you. And then he lays flat on the ground. What? Like in the cart? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, with that face of that token, Stibbles <laughs> lays down in the mine cart. <laughs> Philip, it and is your turn. And he upskirts Terry the rat. Uh, Philip is just going to... Prepare to catch core, I guess. <laughs> this is okay. this wait, is a Colton plane if there ever was one. <laughs> <sighs> so you and Phelan are both preparing I, to grab core. I have a, a quick question. I know this mm -hmm. spell isn't meant for this, but if I was to cast fairy fire on core, could I give myself advantage when I catch her? Sure. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. I like pretty that. Good. Okay. Um, I mean, is is are is I'm everybody in the gonna cart try, willing? Yeah, I'm not gonna try to. Do oh God, the Zorn. Very oh, fire God. is an AOE, so everybody will be will and, be. And and uh, the Zorn yeah. will get advantage on attack. Is the Zorn following us? The Zorn is there. Yeah. So? Oh yeah. The oh. <laughs> like maybe not. Um, and the Zorn <laughs> it'll hit the Zorn too. So I mean, yeah, but then the Zorn be... can hit me. And... <laughs> or... Never mind. Never mind. I'll just be blind. It's fine. Okay. Um. The Zorn uh, notices uh, that you guys are going to do something, um, and it's going to attack Phelan. Can I Phelan give has a, a natural point? one. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> this is just barely. <clears throat> right, um, um, I will take it. <laughs> Terry the rat? Uh, he's yeah, he's, he's still going to try another bite. All right. That's a 16. 16 by solid stone. He deals one damage. <laughs> to that rock. To the Zorn. He didn't beat the, the Zorn's armor, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh. Um, it's just sort of like, it's like a stone. Yeah. <laughs> you like can't break it. I lost a tooth. All right, Lelia, you are about to you lost several teeth slam to into scurvy. the wall. Oh, no. It's your turn. Huh? How fast are, no, so I know how fast we're going, but how fast are we gaining on this thing? Like how um, much time do we have? You have right now. That's what I'm wondering. Like, so how far am I from the the thing? Uh, like 
if we're going to go my initiative during your turn right now, you're going to hit the end of it. And then at the start of your next turn, you're going to be past it. The rope on Stibble's thigh begins to glow. <laughs> like a quest item. <laughs> Honestly, Logan, that was my other idea. Like, but I didn't right know if I would have time Amelia to tie a knot. Yeah. A, the 80 feet that the cart is going to move to do something. I was like, do. <laughs> I was like, I got to tie a knot, lasso it, pull it. Like, that's too, too risky. So, you know, obviously I chose to Misty step off of the cart. She can't do anything with that um, lever, so she's just going to try and do something. This is going to be fun. Let's see what happens. I'm glad that my mine card has just embraced death. <laughs> <laughs> I have so nothing death. I can do. Um, I, I won't be able to pull the, the, the lever. Um, pull the lever, Kronk. She's going to, like... Try okay. So she's going to try and jump out of the minecart, but with her shield underneath her to kind of brace the fall and kind of slide down with it. Breath of the Wild. Or a style. bit to try and stop. Yeah. Okay, so, 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 so you're what just she's also trying to do is give the Zorn a better target away from the other two. So then, so so basically, you've accepted defeat of the minecart, and you're just I can't do anything. So yes, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to use. I'm trying to have the shield have the brunt of the slide, so I don't get rock so burn. You're just abandoning ship. You're jumping out. More or less. Okay. Roll acrobatics. Oh no. I got an idea, guys. Good luck to you both. It's We're all a counting on idea, you. Idea, but I got an Unless idea. you're just doing brunt force and you want to make an athletics check. It's more breath for force than anything. She's just trying, like, t she's almost like taking off her shield and just kind of jumping off. So okay, then roll athletics. Well, guys, welcome to the last episode of Eve. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. I mean, there'll be three of us left. Yeah, Lelia, you, you Stibbles, you're like, all right, we're counting on you. You lay down, and Lelia just jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Poor we stuff. finally got rid of her, Kurt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you jump out. Your shoulder takes a big hit as, as the shield kind of boom, hits the ground. You roll uh -huh. quite a bit as you're on there, but you stop yourself as you hit the ground. You roll for a bit and uh, continue sliding. And uh -huh. as uh, you, you stop, you take eight bludgeoning damage. Eight? Okay. That's um, my whole um, temp. And uh, you, you gotta slide on the ground, and you're like, Ugh, dust and dirt all over you, and the Zorn's eye is open right next to you, and the car just sh 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 keeps going past you. You guys know that the Zorn has stayed behind with Lelia. Wow. Wait, <laughs> are we are we gonna run into the lever? You, hasn't you changed. turn and look forward, oh. and the lever's like twenty feet away from you. I, I have a plan. Oh, I it, okay. <laughs> all right, uh, Phelan, it's your turn. I'm waiting to apparently grab well, a... Yeah, when does that timeline oh. happen? It has an initiative. Oh, boy. It's not I'm yet. preparing <laughs> to grab core, apparently. Okay, you're still readying to grab core. Got Thank it. you. Uh, is the raven doing anything? Uh, the raven was technically on my shoulder, so I'm assuming the raven is with me. Um, uh, uh, yes. Uh, it, it is... Um, it's actually going to... I'm, I'm going to have it... Um, move like that far away from me i pull myself away from the rest of the group just okay the, 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 the. got it so no i'm no longer with one v one the zorn yep but five health classic <laughs> this is oh, foreshadowing God. this is foreshadowing from episode one uh, <laughs> it's called right. a death wish jacob uh it's the owl's turn uh the owl is going to approach itself onto the minecart Either this works and we all stay, or at least I can use the <coughs> owl to find the party. <laughs> so okay, if she's not These a puddle, corpses. Her, you've got twenty feet, ten, like 20, 15, 10, like on your turn. You're you're 
cusping on the edge of death here. It's up right. to you to do something. And is it my turn right now? Yes, right to, right now. Um, so, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jacob. Can I cast magic missile and shoot the missiles out and around and have them plunk the... Uh... Yes. Yes, you yes. can. Yes. All right. <laughs> I don't have a head have... for that. It's a magic Kurt, missile. You, Kurt, yeah, Kurt just like grabs Stibbles and goes, here we go, buddy. Pew, pew, pew. And uh, they go, <laughs> pew. <laughs> and they, uh, uh, but I am going to need to roll. Oh, no. Uh, oh, God. Uh, magic. Pew, pew. Just yeah. Oh, God. That's cool because I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. He's being me... <laughs> mass healing word. Yeah, <laughs> just just a, something nice. Uh, just... Telekinesis Lelia back into you, Minecraft. You, <laughs> you turn into a goat, you know, it's something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I need to open up my, that's the one thing I didn't have open. Yeah. Okay. You should um, have that at all times, man. I'm really happy you thought of that. I was really hoping you were going to do that. Mm. I, I, I was like, I, I, it's literally around? the only... Uh, the only one I have left. It's like the only spell like, slot. This I is the only. So. This is the only idea I have. It's like I'm out. <laughs> Otherwise, we're dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, D100. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> oh god. You cast confusion. Oh no! On oh no! <laughs> Perfect. It's so not new. Kurt just grab, grabs Stibbles, pew, 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 and then he goes, uh. <laughs> well, it has a save. Oh, it does have a save. Yeah, what's the save? All right, so, it is a, it is a uh, it's wisdom a, save. It's a fifth level yeah. spell. I think Stibbles has to make it too, He right? does. Yeah, Confusion's do. like a 30-foot coat. It is a 10-foot <laughs> radius. It is only you two and Terry. Oh, and, not the, uh, and not the, oh, yeah, the, the creature. Zorn gone. stayed behind with no. Lilia. I pulled oh, well. away from you guys. You sound so proud. <laughs> yeah, you say that like it's a good thing. No, I rolled away from you guys. <laughs> you fucking assholes. I got a 19. Terry's already under the effects. He has been okay. for a while. Yeah. So does it sober him up? I don't know. Uh, I rolled 15. What's your so... save? Oh, yeah. Um, I think we both beat it. Shit. Only be like 13 or 14. Uh, 14. So we're good. I'm, cool. I'm good. Anyway, roll roll a d10. I want to see what uh, Terry does. Okay. I love this spell. This Seven. spell is great. Seven. Um. Does he scream some more? No, he bites you. Roll attack. <laughs> <laughs> the creature uses its action to make a melee attack against a randomly determined creature within its reach. You're gonna so get babies. He immediately reaches out and bites into my leg for one whole piercing damage, and I pull out a comically large newspaper and smack him on the head. <laughs> He's like, hey! Why do you have that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep it in a um, hammer space. Um, okay. Uh, so here's what, as, as you do that, Kurt, um, you, you fire the magic missiles out and all of them kind of go around to the lever. Um, Stibbles, you're like, how is this going to help? It's just going to hit the lever. But then they curve and turn and hit the back of it. And one, two, three of them. And it kind of hits the other side. The rail changes. And Lila, you kind of sit up and you watch as you hear a clank. And he watches the, the <laughs> my cart just do, 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 goes in the other direction. <laughs> and you don't watch the imminent death of your companions. <laughs> but, but we do sail away into the yeah. dark. <laughs> yeah, the oh no. Um, all right, Kor, it's your turn. You are going on the turn of the minecart. You are acting at the same time. Cool. So as the minecart is moving across to the other side, you're taking your turn. Yeah, my prepared action. So as soon as I'm close enough, boom, mm -hmm. teleport, pulling the lever, and then cool. just trying to make it as easy to be grabbed as possible. All right, you you misty step, you push pose. the lever, make an athletics check. Push the lever. Right. It is a heavy lever. Ooh. Heavy lever. I'm going to card that if I can. Oh no, yeah, it's a natural a, one. You have a card. Well, yeah. it's not an attack roll, it's a skill That's check. That's right, yep, so. I'm gonna card that. Okay. Keep forgetting we have cards. Yeah, you have cards. Did you roll a natural one? I did. By the way, that was a natural one. <laughs> She's like I'm really <laughs> glad I'm really glad Everyone that dies. I'm really glad that in this minecart meant for people they made levers that people can't push. 
Uh, no, it's like it's probably old, like a lot old. of strong people Judge that are. Shit. Yeah. Also, I would imagine it's rusty. No, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> He's just uh, being roll, salty. Uh, I'm being uh, sarcastic. Five. five. As salty as the base of that lever. Motherfucker. Do I want Plus to get ten. Eleven. Or twelve. Oh, an, Sorry, it's 12. a ten DC. So you, got, <laughs> you, you, you could have rolled. Got a two, three, anything. You <laughs> push it. You push it in. You just. You you get it to go forward. It changes, and you're like, I hope they grab me. Failing, we, we hope so too. Uh, <laughs> I think you roll athletics checks to grab onto. Oh boy. Well, actually, technically, um, yeah. one of you is going to help the other. So who, well, I who's going to help twenty? Me? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, then I assume I'm helping <laughs> Phelan. Sorry, I was just really sure, lucky. Before no, roll, yeah, but you, I, you guys already rolled, so. That was uh, fine. That's fine. Um, <laughs> the two of you um, are good. Uh, as as the minecart kind of zips past core, the two of you uh, watch as she kind of pushes the lever, and uh, in in that exact moment, you guys grab her, and uh, very quickly, core, you are violently thrusted back onto the to the cart, thrown onto the bottom of it as as Phelan and Philip have, have grabbed you and put you back in, and you guys are continuing to make your way down. Um, and as you guys continue downwards um, past uh, that area, uh, you guys come across like a bridge, um, and uh, it's another open way. Um, and you, uh, you guys can see one another again. Uh, Kurt uh, and Stibbles are are elevated about twenty feet above um, uh, the other cart, and you guys are kind of riding along. And you guys can see that um, up ahead it turns once more. Um, uh, for Stibbles and Kurt, it's to the right, and for uh, Core and Philip and Phelan, it's to the left, and that's about a hundred feet ahead. There's no lever or anything like that. It's just going to turn. Since um, since they're the... above us, I assume we're mm-hmm. unable to tell that Lelia is not in the cart. You look up and you don't see Lelia in the cart. Okay. You see Stibbles and Kurt though. She could um, be in the cart. She could be down. Yep. So the Zordon is gonna. Uh, we cut back to Lelia, who's on the floor, <laughs> um, <laughs> currently prone. As the is the Zorn... other Zorn? Is the other Zorn still following us, or did the opening kind of? We'll get there. Okay. Um, Lelia, what's on you? Mm-hmm. How much gold do you have on you? Mm. He has uh, eighty-four gold, three platinum, and fourteen summer, silver. Uh. It's going uh. to bite you. Okay. He gets a nine. That doesn't hit. Well, as it, it its mouth kind of opens up from the, from the rock, and its mouth isn't made of stone. It's it's jagged teeth and this uh this like throat and mouth that seems to like open up has like a bunch of like like uh uh uh, uh like two like there's a bunch of different ways that like go down into its mouth, and it kind of like moves and undulates as it gets closer to you, and it snaps down, and you just kind of move out of the way. Um, I imagine it's almost like a roll, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stibbles? You know, reviving you got rid of my moonbeam. And you know that chick back there is dead now. Let's hope this doesn't dead end. Do you have to keep casting moonbeam? No, but I use my action to move it up to 60 feet. Got it. So it just stayed back there. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like, oh, fuck. (laughs) Oh, well. For the next one, and he casts uh, Guidance. That's all All I've got. Philip. Oh, actually, no. Uh, can I throw Terry overboard? You just huck him overboard? Yeah. You pick up Terry, and he's like, what are you doing, man? Like, ah! And, and you just hear, you, uh, <laughs> curtain stibbles, you watch as uh, this rat flies off the minecart and hits the side of the wall. There's a snap, and, and you <laughs> keep going along. Circle of life, don't think about it. You aren't, you do not know if me. he is dead or not. You better not be, or I quit. Is he, Flat he, goes the rat. He, 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 he's just the BBG of the next arc now. <laughs> you threw me overboard. I thought we were friends. Um, Philip, it's your turn. I don't really have anything to do, so. Okay. Um, 
the Zorn on the side of the wall that's still following you guys uh, does reappear and continues to follow you. And instead of attacking you, it goes up into the ceiling and moves ahead of you. And you see that uh, rocks and pebbles begin to crack up above your minecart. Um, and it begins to try to bring the ceiling down on top of you. Um, I need a Phelan, Core, and Philip all to make dexterity saving throws. Dexterity? Uh, 17. Uh, got a 9. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? Oh, Philip got a 19 and I got uh, a 9. Technically a 9. I, I read the wrong, wrong line. Uh, 17. 17. Uh, Core, you dodge out of the way. Phelan, you dodge out of the way. And the rock hits Philip. <laughs> no. No. Um, What's my DC? Let's check. Philip, you take seven bludgeoning damage as a stone hits oh. you in the head. Well, let's see. Instantly seven gets mad. Wax core. <laughs> gotta um, kill everyone in this money card. I, I, I feel use like... my card, please. Oh, no. One through five. Uh, four. Plus eight. Okay, we're good. Exactly good. Exactly oh, he's good. In the face, it like flies past him, and Corn Phelan stare nervously as he's like, "I'm fine." <laughs> it's I feel a, like a deep sigh. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's very much that that like the the, the mine cart where they all duck, and then just like it hits him, and they're now just like they're probably like, "Oh yeah, we did it," and they're like, "Oh wait." <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> it's Terry's turn. He does secret stuff. Lelia. Took one damage. Your turn. Still stand up from being prone. Okay. She'll reach into her bag, take out her coins, her okay. eight, her 83 gold, I think that's why I said it was. All right. Yeah, 84 gold. And just huck it down the other way, down the mine shaft. You take the you take the sack of coins, you throw it off to the side, you watch the eyeball immediately moves over towards it, and uh, the creature glides back into the wall away from you. And with that, um, is the, does that count as an action, technically? Yeah, it would be an action. It's okay, wrong. then I am going to move my uh, 10 feet <laughs> down, uh, down the corridor. Uh, just <laughs> <laughs> you you toss it and uh, just because this is just you and this creature uh, you toss it the zorn goes over and like grabs it eats it and then disappears into the stone you hear silence and you just kind of like breath out and then just start walking <laughs> mm -hmm. i assume yep all right top of the round uh phelan uh you guys are currently coming towards that kind of corner and about to turn um the zorn is trying to bring the ceiling still down on top of you it's your turn how far away is it now? Uh, it's up about 10 feet. It's no longer within five feet. So you're just gonna try, I'll just blast again. Go for it. Just do something. You don't have disadvantage this That's time. That's why I was asking. Oh boy. Uh, 19. That hits, roll damage. Hey, finally. And roll damage. Oh my gosh. The most I can do. You strike the uh, the Zorn up at the top, and you hear it kind of just as it continues following you. Uh, just gonna do a little little chip damage here and there. Is your Raven doing anything, Lilia? The Raven's just landing on my shoulder. Okay, your Owl Core. He's sticking around. All right, Kurt. Um, we're uh, we don't have a a monster near us. You don't. And we're just cruising. You're just cruising, just making your way down. Um, you're not going as fast anymore. It's about level ground at this point. You're coming up to a turn. Um, is there anything Kurt can do? I mean, it doesn't look. It looks like we're going to take that turn, right? Like it's. Yeah, yeah. Crying. It's not like you're going to fly off the the thing or anything. <laughs> Kurt's just going to uh, sort of look look around and. Uh, well, this has been a day. <laughs> really has. I lost a friend today to my own actions. <laughs> I'm glad you cannot pick me up and throw me. 
and then, that's my turn. <laughs> All right, core. Ah oh, man. Um. I don't really think I have a whole lot I can do. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and just cast false life on myself. I don't have much more okay. I can do. Sounds good. So that's gonna be um, seven temporary health for me. All right, uh, Stibbles, it's your turn. Uh, I will cast guidance on Kurt. All right, you cast guidance on Kurt again. Kurt, you're feeling so guided. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Healing. Healing this card. <laughs> or I will. Philip. Uh, Philip's gonna drink a healing potion because he right. has nothing else that he can do. Okay. Yeah, I think it's ten feet away from us, and it's kind of difficult for us to get close enough to it to hit it right now. So it's uh, like. And uh... I have no range attacks at all. Okay. Uh, that's seven health to me. All right. Uh. The Zorn looks down and uh, it uh, it's going to try to bring more rocks down on top of you guys. Um, all of you make a Yay. dexterity saving throw. Oh boy. What'd you get? Uh, Good question. I forgot already. Wow. Uh, 14. 14? All right. 16. Four. 16, okay. Philip? One. What? I don't. So, Phelan and Philip. Uh, Corey, you move narrowly out of the way. Um, Phelan, you take nine bludgeoning damage. Thanks. Philip, you take five. It's like shocked. <laughs> get hit in the face. Lightly I'm, concussed, apparently. I'm, I'm fine on my reach. Okay. Um, what's your DC at? If 18, I can ask. Currently. Eight. I rolled a 19 just now. Oh, Yikes. Look at it, All right. For 18 uh, plus one, so. Lily, I assume you keep walking. Yep. All right. <laughs> at the end of the round, you guys, um, uh, Kurt and Stibbles, you guys uh, make that turn, kind of go downwards. You can see a bit of light coming out, um, down from the end of this tunnel. And you can see uh, you guys kind of slowly come to like, it's like squeaking along for like 10 miles an hour, five comes to another turn and seems to come into like this little stopping point. Poof. There, um, you guys see this massive open room um, I, that I will uh, continue to describe um, in a second after I get everybody else. Um, but uh, the railroad has ended and has opened up to this massive place that is like glowing with light. Um, uh, Phelan, uh, it's yeah. your turn. You guys are say on your final kind of turn, and you can see that uh, up ahead there is this kind of glowing light going on. Um, but the Zorn is continuing to drop rocks on top of you. What are you yeah. going to say, Spencer? Philip's going to say, if you have any gold, throw it. Does he? Let me check. Anything that is worth money. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, yeah, he does. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, honestly, he'll throw his 14 whole gold. You toss your 14 whole gold off to the side. And uh, rather easily, the Zorn stops, moves over towards the gold, snatches it, and leaves you alone. You guys are out of combat. Um, I always title um, my my notes, and today's title is "I'm broke and I want out of this cave." <laughs> <laughs> A true bastion fear. The, yeah. the other part, you guys kind of turn and kind of wheel slowly to a stop and in opening into this room at the same time. Um, Kurt Stibbles, you guys are on like the northern end of the room, and Philip Phelan Core, you guys are on like the south southern end of the room. The pounding, that sound of like like um of like like uh like pounding after pounding is coming from this place in the center of the room. It's very loud. Every about eight seconds or so, there's this <laughs> noise, and the room lights up with um, blue, uh, not blue, green and yellow um, kind of like light. It emanates from the center. In the center of this massive room is this gem, this diamond shaped thing, maybe about 10 feet tall and five feet in, in width. And there are these like, like piston like hammers on all sides of it. There's four of them. 
and each of them is operated by what looks like one of those dwarves you had seen in the past. And they are going over and they are shoving this thing forward at the same time. And each of these pistons strikes the stone and comes back and it glows the entire room outwards. Um, Jacob, it, yep. when we arrived at the you know, crossroads, mm -hmm. you told me that Kurt felt uh, sort of raw magic. Is, is this it? Yes. Almost certainly, Kurt can feel every time that, like that, um, that the pistons strike the the thing in the center of the room. Um, it's like it's like a like a wave of water, but the water is magic, just kind of lapping over you. It doesn't mm. hurt. You can just feel it, you can mm. sense it, and you're the only one that really senses it. Hey, Jacob. Yes. Remember how you were saying that you always set things up ahead of time, but then some people can't see anything. I don't have your tokens on the map yet. Okay. Um, and I'm getting them right now. So I'm going to put Kurt over here. Also, I assume now it has been confirmed for us that Lelia is not with them. <laughs> At this point, yes. Um, should be able to see now. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. It glows. <laughs> Those oh, yeah. uh, things off in the middle there, um, these these little, uh, those like elongated things, those are like the pistons. Those and, are tampons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <they really. laughs> um, and uh, the dudes are, oh, where are there many? They are. What are um, these things? Um, I will, I'll tell you in just a second. They're probably like stands or holsters for the, yes. that. Yes, um, it, it, it is, uh, they are large, um, metal rods that, um, connect to the ceiling. And, uh, there are more rods that go down and hold the, the giant, um, thing in place. So this is all just like, like iron scaffolding that is holding the gem in the middle. Um, and it continues to like glow and emanate throughout the room. And you just see these four these uh, four beings just kind of mindlessly like like shoving the thing forward and and striking the stone. All right. Um, do we? Uh... And uh, you guys can see each other from across the way. Uh, Lelia is not in sight. Um, I can't see that far, so that's not really my uh, my issue right now. But um, can. Can I roll Arcana on this, this whole scenario right here? To try to- go Yeah, it. same. Oh. I, I would also like to roll Arcana on the situation, because this Why feels- Why is it turned like that? And I would like to cast Moonbeam on the situation. Oh. Jacob? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I, hang on. Dang it, I should be able to like change how far you can see. Yeah, you did it just had it at like I could only see like a sliver of the room. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't, so that's what I'll do. Um, sorry, somebody asked me a question. Arcana check on on the stone? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I can't see anything currently, though, so. Okay. Um, yeah, roll an Arcana check, Corey. I got an 11. Um, an 11? I think Philip got... um, so. yeah, Very I... uncertain. Um, Stibbles, did you see we're going to cast Moonbeam? Yeah. On what? Uh, one of the little guys out there. All right. I got oh, a boy. 17. 17. Um, hope you said that. 17 Arcana check, huh? I, there's not a whole lot Philip would gain from just looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, but you gather that it is some sort of magical gem, very obvious. Mm -hmm. And what you put together 
is that it seems to be emanating some sort of magical effect in the nearby area. Um, it's going beyond this room and out into the distance. And it seems to be some sort of some sort of magical effect. You aren't certain on what the effect is. And it is um, how much can I give here? <laughs> uh, Approximate knowledge on many. Things. I know, right? I will say that due to the, the the just the visual aspect of it, Philip is aware that there is a sort of enchantment magic from it. And that's all I'll give you. Um, Kurt is almost certainly going to step out and start attacking those things because um <laughs> dibbles your cast moonbeams kurt you're yeah. doing that let's go ahead and have everybody roll initiative and uh tyler can you roll me a d8 so many rounds are coming <laughs> yep actually you know what i'm gonna take advantage <laughs> uh, well, it could, could be worse five nice You're waiting for these. initiative. Sorry, um, and the, no, these... I, I put in the wrong stat dudes here. <laughs> and these are definitely uh, the dude, the like half, half sentient. Yeah, yeah, you, you, they look almost identical. You are aware of. They've been moving in rhythm ever since we came down here. I don't think they're human, or he, like free willed. Just making sure. How far down or up is the are these staircases? Twenty feet for each one. Are they? Uh, is it down into this area? It's twenty feet down to here, and then it's twenty feet down into here. It's a it's a pretty far fall. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Now let's get everybody's initiatives in here. Uh, Kurt, what'd you get? Fifteen. Stills? 23. Nice. Uh, core? Uh, 8. I thought I put it in. That's weird. Philip? 18. Phelan? 14. Um, and these dudes. Ooh, that one rolled good. What'd you get on your D8 roll, Ilya? Five. I'm not in the initiative. No, your D8 oh, roll. Oh, my D8, oh. five. Did you get it five? Is that what you rolled? Yeah. That's why I rolled was five. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. Uh, let's get up into initiative here. I'm going to say that you guys, ha um, you, they are surprised currently. They are not expecting you at all. Um, so they will not act during this turn. Um, so top of the round is Stibbles. What are you doing? Okay. Moonbeam procs on this guy and nothing happens. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I will wait there for my next turn. Okay. You Wait, you casted it and nothing happens? it happens at the beginning of their turn. Got it. So um, would it proc on the surprise round? I don't think it would. How big is the moonbeams area? Five feet? Five feet. Uh, 20 you feet can tall. control that little token I just made. It's a moonbeam. Okay. That's really cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, all right. Uh, Philip, it's your turn. Uh, Philip's gonna try to cast a spell magic on this gem thingy. <laughs> cast a spell magic on it? Yep. Okay. Um didn't expect that, did you? Logan's like, this has happened to me before. Uh-huh. <laughs> I assume I need to roll. Buffering. Yeah, buffering. <laughs> 
Also, Logan, I think there was a 20-foot fall that Stibbles would have suffered to move 25 feet like that. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> this is a cliff that goes down 20 feet. <laughs> just I mean, you forward. can just fucking fall if you want. You can want. do it. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just look, I realized what Stibbles was, and I was like, 25 feet, what? Oh, he must have just gone straight through. Oh, and Logan, if, if you want to put it not on the grid, hold <laughs> Alt when you move it, and you can put it wherever you want. Okay. I did not know that. I will put it there. Okay. Um, so good. Roll, Philip. Uh, can I use my card? Did I use you my card? You used your card. Oh, well, 13. So I assume it doesn't do anything. He cast the Dispel Magic, um, um, hoping to end the effect on the on whatever this gem is doing. And as mm -hmm. you go to do it, um, Wait, your do magic... I, do I add anything to this? You add your... I don't know. Do you? You add your spell casting mod. So what's your charisma? Oh, then 16. Sorry. 16. Yeah. Still not enough. Okay. Um, the dispel magic doesn't seem to dispel whatever is here. Um, but at least the dispel magic gives you the confirmation that there is some kind of spell-like effect. Okay. Kurt? Very, very high level. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Kurt is just going to step over here. Um, I don't think I have any other spell slots left. I do not. Kurt is going to cast a firebolt on this fella. All right. Um, so that is on, on this fella. Yeah. Got it. Um. Uh, actually, uh, Stibbles, what does Moonbeam do? Uh, when they start moving around in it, it starts searing their evil demon skin. Jacob, could I have um moved? Then I'll do. I, uh, yeah, I'll I'll do this guy because I okay. I want to want to spread the love around. You can move, Philip. Okay. Ideally, he's gonna run up and get caught in it too. Fourteen. Fourteen is gonna hit. Roll damage. Right. These guys are much easier to hit. They don't really even try to dodge. They're they're not even certain. They're just they're just like pushing this thing and <laughs> you strike the creature. Nine points of fire damage. And you're doing this guy, or you're doing um uh the one Stibble's got the moonbeam on. This guy. All right. Uh, nine points. Yeah. Nice. Oops. Kurt Gave him their, more health. Their haka where it's just... And it becomes a firebolt. It becomes a firebolt and just strikes the creature, and it hits it, and it doesn't really react, and then it just slowly turns its head. Um, and all of them kind of notice what's going on at this point. Phelan? Um, the gem emits light, so... It does. Okay, so it's pretty filling of the whole room. Um, it's great because there's just a little aura of darkness surrounding him. It's in <laughs> <Yeah>. the corner. <laughs> You're a tiny little aura of darkness. And I just <laughs> can barely see core now. And I was like, man, I wonder where they went. And there they are. <laughs> oh, you have your glowing sword, don't you? I will give it's you It's just really right funny because there's just a little bit of light and then darkness. And then now I can see everything else. Um, oh, boy. Uh, there you go. Yay. <laughs> now I won't possibly run into core. <laughs> Oops, pardon me. Uh, I guess we're, we're attacking these things. These are the same exact looking things from previous. I mean, so okay, to be fair, they are different people. Like, they all look different. Um, yes. Some of them are, are, are male, female. You're not certain, but they're they're not they they look similar. They have the the bloodshot eyes, the kind of like a uh, craze, kind of a dead um, kind of emotion about them. Um, and they're all wearing kind of like the same thing, uh, mm -hmm. which is this just ratted look uh, like clothing. Like it's 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 the it's the clothing you get at the very beginning of Skyrim that you immediately drop out of your inventory as soon as you kill somebody. It's they're just wearing that. <laughs> yeah, um, but they all appear undead, or they appear correct. so. Okay. That's kind of my biggest question. Um, that's about, I think it's far, five, ten, three, three, yeah. Uh, and he's going to cast Eldritch Blast on this one because it. it's the uh, only thing he can do at the moment. He doesn't want to dash. He's got 10 whole hit points. Uh, 18 plus 5, 20, 23. 23, that hits, roll damage. I'm not useless, guys. 
I'll do sign himself. Uh, eight what I damage. I tell myself in the mirror every morning. I know, same, right? Uh, yes, 12, 12 on a d10. Um, eight. Eight, got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's looking pretty rough. Uh, and also he remembers it explode. Blast. Yeah, he also remembers it explode, so he's like... Core? Um, all right. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, you would have taken his turn, by the way, uh, Stibbles. Um, oh, no, he hasn't yet. He's there. last. Because he's slow. Nice. If I go to there... Okay. Um, I mean, all of my... Yeah, all of my spells are combat-based, so... If they're not really surprised yet, or if they're sur they seem surprised, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to go to there, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I'll just have my uh, rapier out, ready to attack them. Okay. Are you, are you ready? Well, no. I'm just I'm re ready to as in, like, oh, you're I dashing. had to dash. Yeah. Got it. All right, you run over to that guy. Um, he's in the moonbeam. Does he need to make it? What save does he need to make? Stibbles. Oh, uh, 12. Uh, Constitution. Got Sorry. Yeah, you're cool. Um, how's a four? Uh, not good at all. I believe <laughs> that is... Oh, shit. 15 cool. divine damage. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, he, he, you sear him with that, and it's just kind of. This is the one thing that kind of makes him react. As you, as as the moonbeam kind of gets him, uh, like begins to burn him, it kind of just, and it turns over towards you with its eyes just angry. Whoops, but it's not really. Turning, Ooh, uh, I am going to shape shift into a draft horse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my thing. That's you, what I do. What's the draft horse's uh, CR? Can you turn into it? Uh, one quarter. Yeah, I have everything I have listed. Got it. Uh, and then... Grab that for you. Okay. Then I will... Step... No, I'll stay right where I am. That'll just be my turn. All right. You are a horse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Took so long um, to get here. All right. Uh, <laughs> it is this dude's turn that's right next to you, Core. He's going to get on an actual space here. And a he's question? Going to, yep. Sorry. Uh, I don't have dark vision. Is that thing glowing? Uh, I will give you vision. Okay. There you go. Horses Thank don't you. have dark vision, but you can So still turns into a horse, you're like, shit, I can't see. But the thing is glowing. So, so it's good. like really, okay. okay yeah. um, <laughs> can you see now? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, the, so the the zombie uh, right in front of you, Core, is going to attack you. Um, it's going to make two claw attacks. Or it just makes one, sorry. Uh, a 17? Um, shield. All right, you cast shield. You block it. Um... And then this dude uh, sees a fucking horse. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then 50, 55. And he Ooh. gets to the horse, and that's his turn. He just starts Get trampled, like, hobbling bitch. over towards yeah. you. Um, Philip, it's your turn. Um, Philip is going to uh, go. I can get right here, and okay. he's going to cast uh, detect magic. Detect magic. Yep. You get a very strong enchantment magic radiating from this thing, and okay. every time it kind of waves outwards, um, mm -hmm. it uh, it it the the um, that radiation is also um, enchantment. You're just getting like this wave of enchantment going over you. Does it uh, seem to be to affecting these guys, or no? They don't seem to be un under any kind of spell. Okay, that's my turn. Um, also, uh, 
<laughs> this is the only guy doing it now. Um, and it's not as strong as it was. It, it was like going throughout the like entire room past the walls, and now it's only hitting about the edge of this right here. <clears throat> um, Kurt? Um, I'm shooting another, fi another firebolt. Go for it. <laughs> it's all I have left. <laughs> Sorry, wait, let me, while this is all happening, there <laughs> is no dwarf right, right here, correct? No, he moved to okay, stables. Cool. 21. Oh, there. 21. I was like, oh, got it. Uh, 21 hits. Two fire damage. <laughs> Two fire damage. And uh, that's at which one? Uh, the same one. This fella. He hurts. Slowly but surely. Uh, Phelan. Crap. <laughs> Wasn't prepared. Um, oh, uh, 5, 10, 15. Are still are stairs are like difficult terrain, correct? You have like uh, going down them, no. Going oh, up cool. them, yes. Oh, thank God. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah. Um, and then I started whacking. <laughs> and then I started <laughs> blasting. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Mm. Oh God. Uh. Sorry, I have to do math. Uh, dirty 20 and a 24. Both of those hit. Roll damage. Cool. You got this. I, they explode, though, and I have no way of reiterating, like, if he's close enough to, like, they're going to explode, he'd step away. But, I mean, well, we're just going <laughs> to deal with the damage as it comes. All right. Uh, Jacob, I think your camera froze. Oh, did it? My it camera did. died. <laughs> Give me a yeah. second. Are we going to have to... No, it'll like no. literally a second. Okay. <laughs> nice. He cries every time Basil dies. Oh God, you're right. <laughs> How much damage did you do, Phelan? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was expecting it. Uh. 14, I believe. Um, Nine. Cameron, are you alive? Like I said, just so you know, we still just Sorry. see you, webcam yeah. utility beta. Yeah, which is why I was waiting to answer. Um, uh, okay, give me a sec. It usually <laughs> doesn't take this long, Logan. <laughs> okay. Riveting, yes. one might say. Yes, I agree completely. For those who don't know, uh, Logan and I have a mind link. Oh. Yeah, I'm always in your head. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't say I'm, it. I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, it's not fun in here. Uh, no. You should, you should really re try to relax, maybe. Um, uh, I stress about relaxing. So, oh, Spencer, you difficult. can confirm Philip would have a hair across? Huh? <laughs> the Pokemon. Look what have oh. a hair across. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Come know on. what's going on. Sorry, um, my brain did not compute any of that. No, you're okay. I said it out of the blue for that reason. Hey, Colton. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to turn it off and zoom. Well, that means we'll go into <gasps> break or well, well. a quick, um, or, a quick or a quick one. Uh, let's go quick break because we're almost done with this. Okay. Cool. Uh, so the and I wrote down how much damage we're gonna go to in case of oopsie. All right, see you guys in just a bit. Bye, we love you. Maybe. I fixed it. Oh, <laughs> cool. Oh. We thought to reset cameras. So see I you guys revoke in just a bit. my love.
We're back. Are yes, we, back? we are. Hello, I fixed Hello. my camera. Um, Phelan, how much damage did you do? 15 damage. Nice. Very nice. Please don't please don't it is a very hurt. Oh, thank God. Um, all right. Uh, this other guy, uh, he's not, He's just getting firebolted by Kurt, but wants to continue mm. doing the job he's supposed to do. So he keeps just punching the thing to keep the uh, the, the stone um, <laughs> blowing. Um, Core, it's your turn. Wait, are we back? Yes. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's just, just not loaded. Yeah. yeah. It, the... YouTube is off by like, I don't know, 40 seconds or something like that, but Twitch is pretty caught up. There's the latency. There's latency on YouTube, so. Core. Hello? Sorry, Core? I did not hear that at all. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was looking for what I could do, but didn't hear you say it was my turn. It's okay. Um, gonna move to there. Attack with the rapier. Attack with the rapier. All right, roll attack. I get a plus two with that, yeah. Yes, you do. So you it's flanking. a sixteen. That hits. Roll damage. And it's seven damage. It is mortal. It is near death. He's just holding on. Can I use my bonus action to strike at it with my dagger? Yes, you can. Normally, oh, okay. strike. Yes. Normally, I don't. Okay. Normally, I don't do that. We'll be I reminded. Have... What? They explode when they die. I've forgotten that moment, so <laughs> I still attack. I miss. Yo! <laughs> like, it, no, 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 no! I, I, I was gonna that. say, I probably, probably what happens is I go to swing, someone says no, it throws me so far off, and I, I just miss because of that. Perfect. Why it is Phelan going, no, 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 no? Why is it on top of core? What? It it's isn't? Not. It it's not. It's right be. here for me. No, it should be right Zoom there. Zoom out one. And then zoom back in. Still on top of core, but it's right here then? Mm -hmm. Oh, you fixed it. Now yeah. it's moving. Okay. Sorry. Weird. Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, the <laughs> This Duragar uh, is getting hit by a moonbeam. Yes, he is. Um, That's another con save. Yeah. I said Duragar. It's not even a Duragar. Why did I call it that? Uh, a 10. <laughs> he takes 13 radiant damage. Ouchies. Yeah. Get almost to dead, but not really quite. Near cool. immortal as well. Near death. Um, he's gonna fucking move. He doesn't like this. Don't move go, my shit. Mm, eh, mm, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> ah, a little bit. He's gonna go back to punching this thing. <laughs> uh, pumping still the piston. Pumping the tampon. Um, I think I'm going to use my action to move it right back on top <laughs> of it. <laughs> 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 hey. <laughs> then, uh shit You're i have right. a lot of movement speed give me one second to go over to draft horse i have 40. god so, watching stibbles turn uh, into a horse 15, is gotta be terrifying 20, 20, 20, oh yeah <laughs> oh god the animorphs Five. yeah <laughs> nightmares for weeks don't so don't stay in that form or you'll stay there forever <laughs> oh god uh whatever are you uh, running over this dude he does get an attack of opportunity yeah but are but are you trampling him? Uh, that's not an action I can take, but I'm trying oh, okay. to move past him. Uh, yeah, you move right past him. Uh, he <laughs> he will try to claw you as you run by. It's a <laughs> dirty twenty. That's gonna hit my ass. He oh. slaps your ass for eight damage. <laughs> oh, my juicy eight damage. All right, I'm at eleven for my horse form. Horse health. <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, you just kind of. <laughs> Just start Horse trotting strength. right by him, and he just strikes at you, and you just kind of, and then go trot down the steps. And are, are you're right here? Not uh, my points. horse points. <laughs> my horse points. <laughs> um, this this guy right here. Um, you narrowly missed him, core. You're like, good, didn't explode, and he explodes anyways. <laughs> Both of you make a Constitution saving throw. Do I need to or no? Nope. Good. Man, I was gonna kick him into the pit. Uh, beats it, beats it, Core. That's probably Am what we I should be doing. Uh, take my card. Take your card. Yes, roll, roll, please. One, one through five. Uh, let's do two. Plus ten. Uh, Fifteen. All right. Mm -hmm. Both of you succeed. 
Oh and uh, you both take. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh, God. Six poison damage. Cool. My temp's not am... even gone yet. <laughs> I am, though. I am almost. How much temp did you have, Core? Seven. Seven? From How much do you have life? now? Uh, one. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. Horse points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm name the episode of Horse Points. Oh, um, yes. uh, this uh, this uh, uh, zombie dwarf is like, hey, you're shooting at my friend. That horse just ran by. He was being a real <laughs> asshole. And he goes over to you, uh, Kurt, and he's going to um, horse and around. You? <laughs> oh, I got a question for you, um, Logan. Uh, Moonbeam is concentration, right? Yes, it is. Let me roll a con save. Uh, what is the DC of that con save? It is eight. No, it's four, so it's ten. It's, it's, it, 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 it rounds up to ten. It's either ten or half the oh. damage you took, whichever is higher. Yeah. I got a 18. Yeah, you're good. You're still cool. casting Moonbeam. Um, that guy runs over to you, Kurt. He's going to try to hit you. He gets a 12. That's not. Nice. He just kind of dodged narrowly out of the way as it strikes right past you. Uh, Philip. Um, I'm gonna move to five, ten, ten, twenty. Uh, that reminds me. Sorry, Philip. Uh, Kurt. Um, you went unconscious and came back from zero hit points. You currently have a level of exhaustion. What does that mean? Uh, you have disadvantage on ability checks, and that's it. Okay. So if you ever make an ability check, you have disadvantage. Mm. You're tired. Oh. You're a little oh, tired. No. Uh, you run over that guy, Philip. Wait one second. I'm gonna get to here. I have to dash, but I'm preparing to try to kick him into the pit. <laughs> oh, okay. Like Captain America, just fucking. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Um. <clears throat> So you're prepping, you dash to get there. Yeah, I had to dash to get there. All right, Kurt, it's your turn. Um, Kurt is going to um, shocking grasp this dude. Okay. So I need to make a melee spell with him. Uh, 23. To hit? Yeah. Yeah, it hits. Uh, eight lightning damage. On the guy in front of you? Yes. Yep, he's... And then um, Kurt is going to run. One, <laughs> run. Two. She can do. He won't and opportunity he... attack you as he is out of reactions. Ha -ha. Because of your shock grasp. Yeah! yeah! And um, that is my turn. All right. Um, Phelan? Wait, we seriously haven't damaged him at all until now? God damn it. Because <laughs> he, like, just wanted to go yeah. fisty caps with you. Um, I've been running past that guy. Yeah, so... Stipple's been uh, horse and Stipple's around. in horse form. Mm -hmm. Just... Just left. When... I've got another guy to deal with. Now that you ran past um... this one... <laughs> I'm, I'm guy still moonbeam sniping this guy. <laughs> I know this. I was like, you can just leave that one by himself. He'll uh, eventually just yeah. kind of explode. Yeah, just exactly. kind of. Uh, let's attack this one <laughs> with. We'll just do Elder's Blast because. Pick him in. Four right. freaking okay. health. I'm so sorry. Uh, I always have to do math and I hate it. 14. 14 hits. Oh, cool. I was expecting it to not hit. Uh, they have low AC. I'm just used to things having high AC, okay? The Zorn had like an 18 AC, yeah. so. <laughs> um, Six. Six damage. Yes. Very nice. You know, just six. He's hurt. He's not mortal. Um, this one is continuing to do his job, um, and he sees you kind of behind him, Philip, and um, <laughs> he's like, mm -hmm. and he like keeps uh, punching the, uh, the giant steel trap. <laughs> Core, you're on deck. Yep. Core, it's your turn. Oh. All right. Is there a reason why Stibbles isn't in the initiative? Because it, I put him on horse. the GM layer because he's a horse. 
Okay. But I can still see his initiative. Okay. He's after um, the the next guy. Humans have initiative. They have drive. Horses don't have initiative. I'm They're going just horses. to. Just horses. They have horse points. <laughs> Horse points is gonna haunt me forever now. <laughs> I'm just gonna see a horse eventually be the horse points. Uh, someone in the chat had said, um, Par for the course. When you lose all of your horse points, they turn to glue points. Oh, oh god. Ooh. Oh. GP. <laughs> HP to GP. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna come up to here and just kind of be happy. We don't have Zion to do anything. Points. I'm gonna let okay. Philip do his thing. All right. Um, this guy is like fucking moonbeam keeps coming <laughs> over to him. Get fucking destroyed. <laughs> He's like, no. Uh, he rolls and gets a seven. <laughs> he takes ten radiant damage. He pops like a yeah, balloon and just takes done. <laughs> Yum. Um, at the top of the round, Lilia, you hobble it... around the corner. I have very a slowly. I got a twenty-three, didn't I? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm. Lily is in the initiative now. Uh, can oh, you roll okay. initiative, Lily? Got it. And there's just a goddamn. Just like like dwarf struggling, right there. and you come around and you just see them all fighting around this gl giant glowing thing in the middle here. Fifteen. All right, uh, Stibbles, it's your turn. It takes fifty-five points of movement to move that over there, so I'll use my action to do that, and. Uh... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'll be right there. <laughs> okay. I just see a horse coming, coming out. Horse. Yeah. yeah, Lelia, you look down and you see this, and you see a moonbeam start hitting this guy, and then a horse comes around the corner. <laughs> and you know and that Kurt, Stibbles is still and alive. And like, you just decided to become a horse, and it's like running around firebolting some of them. <laughs> um, yeah. It's that fucker's turn. It's his turn. <laughs> Get the save, you dumb bitch. It's an eight. He takes seven radiant damage. He just starts burning. Stibbles is over here just like back. calculating. Okay, I have to do his Oh, goal. I see. <laughs> yeah. um, he's like, hey, there's a Lelia right here. That's cool. It just oh, yeah, kills you. Lelia, can you roll stealth? I want to see how uh, stealthy you are. See if he sees you. I wasn't really stealthy to begin with. Lilia so never stealth. But you could accidentally be not seen. Uh, oh, I have just to, accidentally. Incredible. So, he goes for on. Kurt. Uh, oh, hold, hold on. No, it's technically a five because I had to roll with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hmm, someone new. Um, he, he claw attacks you. Gets a Hit. 21. That hits. Hits you for I five damage. I'm um, fucking out. That's <laughs> you exactly around the corner of this guy gets burned, that. sees you, knocks uh -huh. you, and you guys all see Lily. It's like, she's alive. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> that would be the perfect actual death moment for you. <laughs> I'm just dead from that. Um, uh, she's, you know, not alive. Not anymore. Was she ever alive? The only person I can get <laughs> we'll to her is know. Kurt. <laughs> um, well, and that one just away. goes over, whacks her, and then <laughs> runs after you, Kurt. Uh, Philip? I'm going to kick this guy <laughs> into okay. the pit. Let's do a contested uh, athletics. Okay. Yeah, don't let him explode and destroy my horse points. It. My horse points. <laughs> uh, strength? Yep. 21? Um, well, you rolled a five. Oh. <laughs> so he takes seven damage as he falls into the hole. You kick him, and he just kind of stumbles and falls off the side. He hits the ground. He's not looking so hot, but he's still alive. He's like, he um, doesn't take damage from falling? He did. No, he, he just seven. seven. Oh, okay. Well, uh, roll 1d4. Okay. Some, uh, do some... No, what's your strength score? Sorry. Plus two. two. So that means... So he's he about two damage. He's 20 feet down? He's 20 feet down. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, never mind. Sorry, you're not going to no. do that. I thought you were gonna like horse jump on it. Yeah, no. there's no there's no action for a horse body slam. I'm sorry. I assume this is a you need one. You could just ask J Jacob. Yeah. Just it what what happened if I body yeah. slammed the dwarf from 20 feet? I'm gonna feet. fuck him up with another. All right, movie. Lilia, roll a death saving uh, throw. Yeah, I oh, wasn't I wasn't done. I like how In secret. Oh, sorry, uh, Philip, continue and your can turn. Can I go five, ten, fifteen, twenty to here? I like how yep. Tyler joined the initiative simply to roll a death save. I know, right? Some new new age thinking. 
<laughs> Still follows the theme of Tyler's hit points. Though. <laughs> oh, I mean, um, send me your your roll, Tyler. Zero. You can't roll a zero horse, on a death save. <laughs> this horse being so much larger than everything else. Is it's just really like, terrifying. <laughs> God, how large is this horse? <laughs> Thirty feet long. Okay. Wow. Um, yes, you're running over, uh, Philip. You guys watch as uh, Lelia kind of struggles and she's back up to one hit point. Oh. You roll the natural twenty. That makes it so yep. much easier. Nah, he got a two, but Jacob was nice. <laughs> he, he thought he thought there was a zero in front of, or behind it. All right, Kurt, it's your turn. I still take right. the um, the level of exhaustion. Level of exhaustion, right? Yes, you do. Um, go ahead and make a Constitution save as Kurt looks over their shoulder and goes, "Aren't you cold?" Um, cool. And cast the uh, frostbite. Eight. Nope. Uh, they're gonna take a. Two points of uh, frost damage. Uh, I'm but, a little chilly. Ooh, uh, but they have a uh, disadvantage on the on an attack they make against me uh, before the end of their next turn. And I well, yeah, it, like one, frees up some two, of the joints. Basically, it's harder for it to move. Four, five, six. All right, uh, Phelan. I could technically hit that one over here. <laughs> Amazing. Um, incredible. Um, but this one right here, you know, on the ground, we're just gonna keep blasting and just not get anywhere near it. All right. This is the whole point of him. Uh, nineteen. That hits. Roll damage. That was damage. I'm kidding. Uh, nine damage. Nice. Uh, it is barely alive. Damn it. <laughs> uh, gotta be kidding me. Turn, it looks around. There's nobody around him for him to explode next to. So he goes five, ten. And then there's a ladder right here. Mm -hmm. And he uh -oh. climbs up the ladder. Uh-oh. And explodes. <laughs> so you're watching in horse form stibbles as he climbs up a ladder mm -hmm. just to fucking die. <laughs> Douche. The constitution saving throw. All right. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> That's an running away? eight. I think I'll use my card on that. All right. Uh, one through five. What? Give me a number one through five. Four. Plus 10. All right, 18. 18, you succeed. So you take half damage. That wasn't my con save. <laughs> Fuck. Huh? That wasn't uh, my con save. Um, Suck an egg, was it, dude. Was it not your con save? Yeah, I'm, I'm realizing now it wasn't. What was that? Just. No, that is what that was. No, 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 it, uh, it was a con save for, your, for the poison. Yeah. yeah, I have a spell active. Oh, you also need to do that. Yeah, right. After you take the damage, you take uh, seven oh. po poison damage. And then my my save is 19. Oh, so you're still concentrating and you're not dead. Cool. And you're still in horse form. I'm still he a horse. I have a couple hit, uh, horse points. God. Left. He has four horse points. So when this horse takes damage, does it like actually take damage or is it more of just like we just see this form not completely whole? I would think for stibbles it looks like it's like actually taking damage like there's probably some of its ribs that are visible now oh great yep that's what i wanted to see yum core cool core it's your turn. i'm guessing that this dude is probably going to come here to kurt so i'm going to prep yeah. to throw my dagger at it all right stibbles womp actually no i'll put it right on him yeah. so he can't walk around it <laughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna go right here. Okay, um, that's my turn, boy. That's your turn, boy. And it's his turn now too. So he—it is his turn. He's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> you got a ten. What, with what little that's sentience he has? Nine acid damage. Nine acid? Oh, sorry. The other kind. The radiant. The damage. radiant kind. Yep. He hurts, and then he's Wah -wah. fucking five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, Throwing dagger. forty. Throw a dagger. Well, I'm throwing it yeah, five like... feet before. Yeah. Only yeah. five feet. So if it well, if it manages to kill him, it hopefully won't explode. Uh, Twelve to hit. Twelve hits. Four damage. 
four damage is enough mm. to put immortal enough to go mm. i should just fucking kill myself of and course he it is. Uh -oh. explodes it did the um, opposite of what made i wanted him, it to yeah. do kurt can you <laughs> roll a constitution saving throw i wanted it to kill him so that he wouldn't explode uh -huh. on kurt <laughs> i got it guys no 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 <laughs> Well, I don't know when their trigger is. Right when as it far lands, as you as hear far, a fuse. As far as we're aware as characters, it's just at some point they decide it's not worth no, it in blood. I know. I know. <laughs> this is funny. What'd you get, Kurt? Uh, 17. You succeed. You take half the poison damage. Jesus Christ, which is... Oh, shit. You're at six health, aren't you? Yeah, yeah it's still... Uh -oh. It's eight poison damage. Cool, thanks. You're welcome. Go down, man. Have you too. Hey, Jacob, this is all your oh. fault. Uh, it's not like I had that shit handled. <laughs> Core. <laughs> Stupid piece of shit. Dramatically um, passes out. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you think to yourself. He only would have ran up and swung at you twice and downed you. With, uh, with disadvantage, motherfucker. Caleb, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. I go, wow, there's some weird, like, yelling. Not going exploding on poison I know. damage. I know, right? <laughs> Can I pull myself up? It's 20 feet, no. Oh, okay. What if I were to ask the horse for a boost? <laughs> you get a horse boost. Can I ask the horse for a boost? The, the horse, horse gives turned. you a horse boost. Oh. Huh? A horse. I'm still on initiative because oh, uh, is Kurt is on yeah, the Can I ask Kor for a boost? Oh. <laughs> I, can, I can try. Yeah, I'm, I'm too heavy. I think you've helped uh, enough. Five. Don't we have another dead <laughs> ally? <laughs> no, oh, Lily no, is a loose. Boost Philip and dump him on his head and crack his spine. Sorry. Uh... Oops. I can feel the yeah, passive yeah. aggressive I was from gonna, I was gonna, body. I was going to say, obviously, the job hasn't been finished, but. <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you doing, Philip? You just waiting um... for a boost? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I wait. Okay, I wait for we, we never rolled for my raven. Um, Should we it roll goes now? now. Or... It goes now. Uh, the raven is going to dash and land on top of Kurt. All right. And I'm going to use my turn to cast Snatch Snatch a Soul. All right. As um, Kurt goes down with the soul. poison, cursing Kor's name as they go <laughs> to him, you watch as the body begins to kind of twitch and tremble. Um, um, uh, that uh, that zombification kind of taking over Kurt's body. The raven, in time, lands on Kurt, um, pulls the soul back into um, their body, and wakes them up. Kurt, you're at one hit point. You're also at two levels of exhaustion at Almost this point. Turned and you guys into a are out of combat. Of course. J Jacob, can I uh, get up there now with a horse boost? Yes, you can. The horse platform has moved. Um, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna give uh the curse Kurt. is laying on the ground going ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I'm, I'm gonna give them a potion of healing. Alright. Is that two D four plus two? Yes. Do you wanna roll it or do you want me to roll it? You can roll it. And uh I'll also give them a stamina potion. And then I'm going to Seven uh, hit points. Whenever I get the chance, start doing hoove attacks to these pistons. Okay, um, just to let you uh, know, Kurt, the second level of exhaustion is speed. Your speed is halved. So at the moment, you like stand up. You feel so weak. Your eyes just want to close. You 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 can barely move, um, but you're still alive. You're still here, but you're just like out of spell slots, and you're just <laughs> tired. <laughs> it's time for a nap. All right, and, and uh, Philip, you gave me a stamina potion. Yes. What is it? Oh. It'll get rid of one of your levels cool. of exhaustion. So you're <laughs> cool. You're at one level of exhaustion now. Back to what? Yep. And uh, drink yep. some G fuel. <laughs> some G fuel. <laughs> Great. And Sybils goes to town on the contraption, but that's where we're going to go ahead and go and break. Um, and we will Stibbles come back in a explodes. little bit. See what the fuck happens. Stibbles just <laughs> horse bits everywhere. Oh um, my god. Finally. But I mean, horse well, technically it wouldn't. It would just all converge onto you. So. Um. Cool. All right. We'll we'll go on break. We'll be back in about fifteen ish minutes. Yeah, thanks Get for uh, before we'll we come go. Back. Sorry, before we go. Before we go. Uh, I Irojog donated ten euros. Give them hell, folks. Really enjoying these streams. Keep thanks. 
uh, keep the Craig right, have fun, and may the rules ever be in your favor. PH Steven, which I think is just supposed to be for Steven, uh, donated five dollars. <laughs> no, it's it's Steven with a PH. Steven with a PH, exactly. Donated five dollars. Uh, and he asked a question that I don't really understand, so I'll read it out if any of you guys get it. I was I wondering I if you guys it. are going to move to Subscribe Star if Patreon goes away to the dodo. Love it's the stream, uh, keep it up. I don't Patreon's, know what Subscribe Star is. So. Patreon's been making a lot of really shitty decisions recently, and Subscribe Star is a new uh, version that's popped up that does oh, the really? same services. All right. But it's Shrug. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about this, so uh, I'll have to look into just it. Just online drama. Zelsaid07 donated $20 with no comment. And oh, uh, thank you. Bob said hi, cheered a thousand bits on Twitch, which I believe yeah, is equivalent 10 to ten bucks. So thanks, wow. my guy. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate all your support for the stream. The uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. We have a new um, art panel thing that Tyler made, art. so you can check out that stuff. Okay, we'll yes. be back in a minute. Bob said hi. Did also for do, Japanese currency. Bob said hi. Did also do a gifted Yen. sub. I should Yen. get that. So thanks nice. for the gifted sub. Also, anyways. We will be back. Goodbye. Yes, we will. Cool beans, guys.
everyone. Welcome back. Um, I have nothing else to say other than we're going to come back into the game. Hello. Uh, so uh, you thanks guys had... to our patrons and all that. And 300 bits from Bob said hi. Thanks, Bob. You guys just finished defeating all of the uh, creatures you had attacked in this room. Um, the... Uh, the gem in the center that is emanating the the kind of glow is still um, glowing. Um, that wave of magic, however, is no longer pulsating off of it. Um, in, instead, fill up with your detect magic, which you can still see. It is only coming out to about that far, like a very small radius. It's it just again. kind of like um, okay. about here. So here, mm -hmm. I can actually do this. Oh, um, uh, let's see. Shift? No? Whoops. We go. Shift made a box. <laughs> it's only coming out to about there. Um, and Stibbles has gone over and has begun hoofing the rest of it. Are you trying to- Stibbles, stop. Hoofed. Don't. I'm, I'm just destroying the pistons. Yeah, don't do that. You're a horse. You cannot speak. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm physically doing that they can see. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're not punching it. You're just destroying the pistons. Yeah. Got it. You go over and you just start dismantling it. It's not hard at all. This is not very well put together. It's kind of just shoddily crafted. Um, and with just a few kicks, it, it falls apart. Okay. If, I just broke one of the pistons. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if no one like takes a further step to stop me. I'm going to go around and try to break all four I'm, of them. I'm but I'll actively the telling you to stop. Okay. Philip After stands in front of you. <laughs> is absolutely obliterated. Oh I will stop my actions. <laughs> just it's not just absolutely lift. obliterated. It just kind of fell apart. And it's That's not, the same Like all the bits kind of clang, 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 kind of fell on the ground. It's like rolling. Okay. I'm going to make my way down into Downtown. the into this Sorry. and try to get a better look at what exactly this thing is and Good try down. to climb I, down the ladder. I'm going to join too. Yeah. I want to get it's, an um, It's being held up by this thing though. And mm. it's about from where you are, about 20 feet up. So it's level with with this level right here because that's how it strikes it. So you're underneath it at this point. Slowly okay. make its way, make their way down. Mm -hmm. Kurt's just staring at it probably, searching their soul. Right. Okay. Do you have any ideas on what this might be? Uh, it's some type of enchantment magic, but just I'm so not... you know, Jacob, I'm casting false light for myself. Go for it. I'm not entirely sure what it does. Uh, Jacob, getting closer to it, could I make another Arcana check or? Sure. Okay. You have to roll really good. I'll I'll make one too. Why not? Hey, right, Jacob. Jacob. Yes. Um, is there any way I could get close enough to touch it? You could climb along the piston if you would like. Funnily that's enough, that was funnily that's enough. what I was hoping to do. Sure, go ahead. Funnily enough, that was check. my next. Uh, that was my next thought. Core, Philip, would you? Uh, you got a fifteen core. Would you get Philip? I didn't get higher than I did last time. Okay, you're not entirely certain, Philip. It's you, you're aware that there's some sort of enchantment magic that was coming off it, and that confirms it with your um, detect magic. Its purpose, uh, you're not really sure. Um, Core, you gather the same thing. Um, this is some sort of like machine that is creating some kind of like enchantment sort of magic, um, though it, it's all centered on this thing. Um, it's not damaged at all. The pistons that have been hitting it over again have not <clears throat> chipped it in any way. Um, Kurt, you begin to kind of climb over. What'd you get on your check? 17. Great, yeah. You kind of balance yourself over and begin to kind of uh, move your way along, kind of getting to the end. Um, and it's just close enough for you to reach out and touch it. And I, I do. As you kind of push your hand up to it, it feels warm. Um, and uh, there's a bit of like, a, a, almost like a static electricity feel that kind of runs up you. It doesn't shock you, but you feel that kind of like, like your hairs kind of all stand on end a bit and you feel like this like energy, like coming from this thing. Um, but it doesn't hurt. Nothing else happens to you as you as you hold on to it. You can just feel this like radiating energy coming from this thing. And there's no markings on it. It's just a smooth surface. There is some markings on it. There are oh. markings on it um, uh, just along the, the like the sides of it, etchings um, in the middle. And uh, the etchings, if you can make an arc, go ahead and make an arcana check. Let's see what is my 
Arcana skill. Hey, I have that <clears throat> skill. Good. Fifteen. You can tell that the etchings on this are some. It, it's the language of of magic. This thing is is some sort of m- magically created thing. It was crafted and built for a certain reason. You gather that it's some form of enchantment um, and that it's harnessing a ton of energy just within itself, but you cannot read what whatever the script is. I will probably relay that to everybody in a sort of a hushed tone. All right, you say that. I'm gonna okay. go over there then, because I know okay. I know a couple of languages. All right. Um, make my way over to where Kurt is. What Get you your say? own piston. Don't, don't come out to the end of mine. I'm not intending on going out on that one, but where is the writing? Um, Kurt scooches back. Um, it's just on the, the the face of the... It's a di- it's like a diamond, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a diamond. It's on one of the diamond faces. Mm-hmm. You just got to get close and touch it. Oh. It's, it's like... It's... it's uh, a pier- it's like a pyramid, but twice. Uh, all right, I'm gonna make know. my way over there. Okay, yeah. roll acrobatics. Like a pyramid, but Eight. twice. Yeah. Um, that was an intelligence save. Yeah, I know. Eight. I accidentally clicked oh. on the intelligence. You kind of step onto it, and it's a bit hard for you to kind of balance yourself on a bit as you're you're kind of moving yourself forward. It's it's a bit unstable. It's hard for you to uh, to um to kind of push yourself uh towards it. If you take any further steps, you may fall. Is, is that is that phrasing for I, I'm going to need to roll again, or? Uh, no. Hmm. You won't roll again. Ooh. Or you could, actually. Why not? Go for it. If you want to step forward and maybe roll. roll again. <laughs> Ten. You're, it's enough to catch yourself. You kind of, you're like on your hands and knees at this point, kind of shuffling yourself forward, kind of crawling on the thing, and you make your way towards the end of it. And uh, you look over and you see it. Oh. Make an Arcana check, Corey. Oh boy! Come on, dirty twenty. <clears throat> you can read it in your wizardly studies of magic. The way you've been able to interpret it, you look at it and you you recognize some of the equations and the formula and the language that is built into this thing, and you recognize the spell. Spell. Dominate monster. Oh. What does it say, Kor? This is how they were controlling the other creatures. Is it's extending one? a spell known as Dominate Monster. Basically, they could tell them what they wanted them to do and it would happen. But oh. I don't think the dwarves are sentient enough to make this decision themselves someone else must be making the decisions if stibbles destroys it is it going to explode the, so you can just come stomp it the diamond mm-hmm. will stibbles explode is another good question no i don't think so um well uh, it's okay. magical so it uh, might be hard it is... to break it is harnessing quite a bit of energy. Uh, my only worry is that if Stibbles cracks it, where does that energy go? That's what I was asking. Be yeah. easier to dispel it, possibly. I tried. It didn't work. You could try. I'm tapped out. <sighs> so am I. It would definitely work with a strong enough casting. It's a spell. You can dispel any spell, really. I'm going to make my way back off. And just to let you guys know, um, you all are able to see this. The only other exit from this room that you can notice is this door. There are two double iron doors sitting in the wall on the top floor in the bottom corner. This room does Mm. seem best as any to take a break. Like sleep? I look around it. I look around at all of us. What do we do if the next room has more Zorns or more monsters? 
I don't think any of us are in a position to fight. I am t tired, but we only slept like a couple hours yes, ago. Yes, but we could take an hour we at least. We can take a rest, yes. But otherwise, not sleep. Good idea. So we're going to take a short rest? Is that, is that what Pretty that much is? short rest rather than long rest, yeah. Okay. And what, yes, uh, short rest. Does, uh, short rest allows us to spend hit dice, right? Yep. Yeah, you can roll hit dice that you haven't previously, you guys haven't short rested today, right? I don't mm. think so. The last game you guys didn't. So yeah, you guys can expend any number of your hit dice um, and you can regain stuff back on a short rest. I think only Lelia and I think only Lelia gets stuff back on a short I, rest. I get stuff back. Oh, you I have your um, wizard ship. I mean, thank well, you. Have to get anything. But... Not just my wizard stuff. I also get back my. Uh, I also get back my blade song. I get my wild shape. Six. I get everything nice. back, but I don't. Can we hit it. the button? Do you get Do you get sorcery points back on a short rest? Um. You set maximum each. I don't know. Probably not. I, I don't think I, don't I get think... anything back on a short rest. Yeah, 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 you're like artificers. I don't get anything either. Uh, yes, you guys can push the button. Does um. Um, uh, does exhaustion go away when I heal my Yes, self? one level of exhaustion goes away on a short rest. Did, uh... So you're back to, back to good. Um. And, uh, Lelia, you had one. You're now at zero. Yeah. Did, uh, we, we good to hit the button then? Yes. yes. Push the button. Does it auto roll, uh, hit points for you? Or do you have no. Zero? No, you have to roll them automatically. Um. And just so you know, Jacob, at the end of the short rest, I'm, I'm gonna cast some bigger uh, false cycle on myself again. And I'm gonna use my arcane recovery to recover a second level slot. All right. Because I have first mm -hmm. level slot still, but I don't have any second level. It'll be good to get access to the spells. I'm using three hit point die to regain all my health. I believe your one temporary hit point is gone, Core. Uh, should be. I think false life only lasts for an hour. It does. Why I recasted it? Yeah, but it's not free for me. Um, or is it free for you? It is free for me. So, yeah. Logan, you I can, can regain health in your horse form. No, because the <laughs> short rest takes an hour, and horse form is an hour. Oh, uh, so at the end so of no longer, uh, at the end of long rest, you're no longer a horse. Uh, no, I I would have to revert to stibbles to take the long rest or short oh, rest. So you so, are reverting to stibbles to take. The yes, short I rest. Uh, yes. Got it. So now I get two hours of horse form instead of the aforementioned one because it comes nice. back. Yay! Waha. We're just going to go take a look at that door. Okay. Um, I will get that to you. <laughs> as, um, as throughout the rest, Phelan, um, there oh is <laughs> not a sound. Oh. Very little... Um, sounds in the distance you can hear occasionally like rocks falling in the distant tunnels that echo out but not other long. adventurers given, dying. given how good phalen's ability to hear is she probably or he probably also hears core kind of like like kind of sitting sitting back uh just kind of writing or drawing in a in a little pad yep um, he hears that, but it's just like, we're going to ignore that because that's not important <laughs> in the I'm, way of I'm just saying to it our be, health. <laughs> I'm, I'm, saying, I'm just saying it because it's like, you have 28 passive perception. You probably hear every little thing happening. 22? Yeah. You probably still hear every little thing happening. I mean, so. that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, he does. Um, Stibbles, Kurt, Phelan, and Kor. Oh, cool. You guys towards the end of the short rest, and you you hear this as well, Kurt, you hear what sounds like a sound coming from beyond that door. Kind of like a, um, a, uh, like a, like energy, like electricity, and then like a <laughs> noise. He's already like halfway up the stairs. <laughs> and you hear footsteps beyond that door. It's gonna go about it. to the just to like to the side and flatten themselves okay you can uh then hear what sounds like like movement and like clanking and movement and and whatnot mm -hmm. um philip lily are you guys joining the rest oh. of the party stibbles of course or 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. if I see them all get up and start to stealth around, I'll mm -hmm. follow. All right. You then hear another sound, and uh, mm -hmm. it just sounds like some sort of like um, like uh, the the sound like a magic missile makes, just some sort of magical kind of like noise, mm -hmm. and then you hear voices. You speak in common, and you hear this distant, deep, somewhat familiar voice. It sounds echoing, like at the bottom of a tunnel almost. There's a bunch of reverb. And you hear, have you found any of the pieces? Two, you hear another voice. This one sounds closer in the room, female. Good. Our friend didn't lie. He may still have some usefulness, even in death. You hear another distant voice. Sounds like even further away. Some of, for some of you, it's hard to hear it, but even Lily, you're able to make it out. You hear, please, please, I, I, I helped you. Please let me go. You all recognize this voice as reference. Huh. Ha. After what you know here, you'll be much more useful to me and my army. My lord, we have a breach. The Sarash Hakar are no longer responding. To those of you who are elves, Sarash Hakar means little dragons. Uh -huh. Did they perhaps betray you? Did you not explicitly tell them who their new lord is? I did. They knew. Perhaps the distance between him and... Did I invite you to question Osvithis? No, my lord. See that the dwarves guard the entrance. And when you find the third piece, bring it to me. Yes, I will, Lord Tetheros. And conversation ends. Did you say Osvithis? Yes. Do I know who that is? Osmosis. No. Okay. Nobody recognizes the name. How do you spell it? O S V I T H I S. So close. It was a little too fast, my friend. O S. <laughs> okay. B I T H I S. Okay. <laughs> and then you begin to hear more movement beyond the door. So like shuffling and 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 uh, things being moved around and all manner of things. Can can anyone tell if this door is uh, trapped? I got nothing. I might be able to. Well, I maybe can actually. Can I look at it? Uh, roll investigation. I can help. I can aid that roll in any way possible. Oh, so yeah, cool. I would. Yeah. I would like to cast guidance on whoever's. All right, Philip, you have uh, guidance and you have advantage. Question: When you said the uh, Sarashakar thing, and you said if you're elves, would that also extend to somebody just knowing Elvish? Yes, it's Elvish. Okay, cool. Because I was like, you know that too. But would yep. just question. investigation. Mm -hmm. Uh, fifteen. Uh, the door does not seem trapped, nor does it seem locked. I think it's just open. Hey, who's who, who's going in first? I can. Why would you go in first? <laughs> do what? Do you just do reckless things? You, you did that with the, with the mine cart. I don't think it's I, smart. You're very I, easy to I, kill. I, I, only... I can. I'm harder to kill than her. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I've been it watching it you. It depends on what they attack with. Actually, you know, I'm going to go ahead and second Lelia. She's a pretty tough cookie. She should be dead at least seven times. Yeah. You know what? I may be wrong. Then maybe both of us go in at the same time. 
Sure. All right. Cool is not going to drop it. <laughs> you go over to the Cool is going in. Uh, there's little like iron handles on it. You're just pushing it open. Yep. Me and Cool at the same it. time. It's a pool door. Uh, Kurt's going to prepare a um, a fire bolt. Can you see into the room? Uh, no. If we enter the room, yes. Oh, that's weird. That's annoying. Why is it doing that? It's a room of infinite blackness. <laughs> I love how there's yeah. still the moonbeam in like the corner. Yeah. <laughs> it's going. Why is why is and Sybil Stibbles still is way, way over back here? There. Yeah. Cause I'm cool. Cause he's in no hurry. Yeah. I'm just chilling. I don't know what <coughs> is happening right now. Come on, dude. The uh, arc, arc, um, arcane arcade motto. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just do this? No? There you go, I see. That's, That's a, also the plot of most Doctor Who episodes. Can I that works? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Earth. You can see into the room? Yeah. Weirdly. Although I'm off to the side of it. So oh, okay, all right. So, all right. Well, if you guys can see in, uh, mine isn't updating for me like that, that you guys can. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to refresh real fast. But you guys look in and you see what looks like a um, small room, um, no exits, the staircase that goes upwards, and you see what looks like two, there we go, it updated now. You see, uh, you see like two little stands. The stands have like this brass, like a, uh, it's kind of like a, um, like a lamp, like it has like a brass <coughs> kind of bottom and then like a pole, and then it looks like to be a gem in the top of it. And then the same thing is up here. There's two of them. You see uh, two kind of glowing, kind of like light sources here. They're glowing like this kind of like green color. You see two desks right here. And you see what looks like a bookshelf and what looks like a cage over here. Um, the cage is currently empty. And in the center of the room is uh, this person. They are dressed in a hood. It's like black hood that goes down to uh, form kind of almost like a poncho um, over their, uh, their body. Uh, underneath, so, is this uh, kind of like berry skin tight like leather uh armor underneath them that goes all the way down to boots down at their body um they look to have what look uh, uh, a number of daggers uh down on on their waist and uh, a book on on uh their side and a mask on their face uh, looks to court looks at woman <laughs> you can tell through her hood she has these very pointy ears and her mask is not entirely detailed it's a bit dirty um, it's got like two very small slits on the front here, and it's got some kind of like uh, pattern kind of carved into the sides of it. Philip, you recognize this mask. I did not think I'd be the one. Um, uh, what is it? You've seen it on someone else before. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> you open the door, and as you look in, you see that. She stops, and she turns, and she looks towards the door. And she's very caught off guard. She's very surprised. She freezes. I was kind of nod. The hell are you? Dunlil sent me. Who? Dunlil. He sent me. Here. Is this a trick? No. How did you get here? How does he know I'm here? He didn't say. He just said to go here. To help. Whoa. Why, why would he do that? I'm, I'm not sure. To help me what? Find the pieces? She kind of like puts her arms down. She kind of looks down and she looks at her hands. And then she looks back up towards all of you. Tell me who you are. I'm Philip. We are Kurt and the motherfuckers, and we are a traveling music troupe slash adventurers. Are you from the town, from Gleam Rock? No. I mean, we we passed through there on our way to here, but no, we are, we we didn't live there per se. Are you to blame for the Sarasha car, the disappearance? It is a very long and complicated story. Uh, I prefer to, to suggest that they are left willingly. Um, <clears throat> but yes. 
<clears throat> so why are you here? Like I said, dumb little sent me, and I found these people. Um, I, I just have some questions, though. How do you know him? Where, where was he? He was in a town about two months back that way. Here? Yeah. The material. Yeah. He, he said that he was from, um, Rosova. Or he was going to Rosova somewhere. So she kind of just begins to like look around. You can't tell her expression at all because of the mm -hmm. mask. Yeah. But she she's like she's like errant. Like she's almost like she's looking for something but not focusing on anything. So if I could just just know what exactly what is going on here and what you need me to do, uh, me and my uh, companions can help you. I, I mean, hold on a second. Was she just not just talking to uh, <clears throat> really? <clears throat> Why are you, uh, Philip? Do you need a cough drop? Are you okay? I uh, know I'm fantastic, Kurt. Um, why don't it's... we let her tell us what she needs us to do? I think it's fine if we let Philip take the lead on this one. Yeah, Philip's always been the leader. We've been working for what's his name? For Dunlil. Yeah, that guy. Can I get your name? It just, she's just kind of blankly staring. She looks very confused. She stops. She says, are you here to help me? Yes. We were born to help you, some would say. Do you know where the gate keys are? No. What are the gate keys? Lord Tetheros wants me to find them. What did they do? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I am to find them. Wait, he told you to find something that you don't know what is or what it does. You're just supposed to... She kind of steps back a bit, and he wants, she kind of puts her hands up on her head. and just, uh, I don't know. Kurt, that isn't very unfamiliar to us, to be honest. Could, um, yeah. Could I try to... Can I cast detect magic? Yep, that's. I was thinking the same yeah. thing. Cast detect magic, and there's a very strong sense of enchantment coming from her. Mm -hmm. Cor, do you cast it as well? Uh, if I see if I see uh, Philip, Philip cast it. start to cast if I see Philip cast it, I'll cast it. Yeah, you get the same thing. There's enchantment magic coming directly from her. She's kind of like stepping back a bit. She's she's kind of staring you, around. Can you dispel it? I'll say that under my breath. I'll just shake his head, no. In between coughs. <clears throat> well, should we stay here and help? Or could no, we... No, 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 no. You have to dig for it. Lily kind of whispers. It's uh, in the earth. What, what's going on with her? You know how to spell magic? I don't know how to spell magic, but if there's something in her mind, I could try and help with that. Um... Just give me just help me get me get me close to her. You said that there are like desks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In are the there room, like are there like any desks. of those those same maps that we saw at the at the yep. start? Can there's I like go over to one and, here. and like try to get her attention to this? Be like, where have you been digging? We can, can... roll a persuasion check. <clears throat> hey, natural twenty. Whoa, <laughs> she says. Yes, and she kind of walks over and she kind of steps here. <laughs> I'll, I'll step into the room at this point. Or are you trying to get her like right here? Uh, can I actually try to get her right here? Yeah, you get her about right here. Lilia, Cor, you guys step in. She immediately kind of gets on it. She kind of turns around. She says, what are you doing? They're, they're, they're with me. They'll, uh, why don't you two look at the other? Uh... I don't know who you are. Told you, Dumbo sent me. I'll, I'll step my I, way back out. He tells me everybody he sends. He didn't tell me about you. Well, then it must odd. have needed to stay a secret until now. He didn't explain much.
Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I was typing something. here, or just try to bring her attention back to... Uh, um, yes. No, I, I don't know. We only found two pieces. Where are they? I'm gonna step up. Like, I won't tell you. To be right, right next to Philip. She kind of backs up a bit, and she reaches for one of the daggers down on her side. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, not, hurt, I'm not hurting you. Am I? I don't trust you. She kind of pulls it out, and she, she holds it forward. She grabs another one in her other hand. Well, you seem to trust Philip, because they know someone. No. I okay. don't. I don't know. <sighs> How did you meet him? Where was he? He was in a tower. He was researching something. I don't I don't know what he was doing, really. You don't know anything else. He didn't tell you anything. Did you meet him? Did you talk to him? Yes. Did you kill him? He asked me to. She lunges at you. Uh, you wait, and she just kind of, and like in anger, she strikes at you. <clears throat> um, everybody roll initiative. Huh? Oh, fuck. Can I have my... Wait, Remember that time place? Jacob said no more combat? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe no more combat. In, Hopefully in it won't be long. Well, I did just tell this lady I killed her friend, so... It's, That's yeah. fair. Uh, um, <laughs> can I have my raven just in case? Yeah, 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 yeah I'm getting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my uh, jackalope? Oh, yeah. You want a jackalope? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd love a jackalope. Give me a Wolpertinger. What'd you get, Kurt? Wolpertinger? 22. I put mine in. 22? I rolled a 19, and I have hey, a plus three. Phelan? Uh, 14. Okay, and... Six. All right, so she is uh, reaching down. The raven and she... needs to be added. Just oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. What did the raven get? Well, I'm going to roll it right now. It's going to be added automatically as soon as it's in. So it comes to me. <laughs> um, Kurt, you are kind of watching this kind of go down, and as uh, um, and you see she kind of like waits. She says, did you kill him? Philip kind of like stops, <coughs> and he doesn't say anything. And in that moment, she uses it. And she's she's re she's getting ready to just strike at him. It's your turn. What are you doing? Uh, Kurt's anything? gonna uh, release that uh, fire. Uh, fire okay. Bullets. Okay. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen misses as you kind of fly forward. It hits that kind of uh, part of her body that's covered in that leather, and it just <laughs> explodes down on the side and uh, doesn't seem to hurt her. All right, Kurt's gonna move then. All right. Did you get my initiative? Uh, I, um, oh, fuck. You're all the way over there. It's, thir <laughs> it's 13. Yeah, just 13. move Sorry. me. Yeah, yeah, got it. Kurt is moving to uh, one of these things with the gems in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, sure, you go over to it. Uh, Philip? Uh, Philip is going to quickly say, uh, don't kill her. And then uh, he's going to turn back to her and uh, cast uh, command and say grovel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what does she need to uh, roll? A wisdom save. A wisdom save. A wisdom save. That's a natural one. Oh. oh. She yeah, immediately, as she's like reaching out to stab you, you say grovel, and she just falls to the ground. Um, her hands almost like magnetized to the floor um, as uh, the daggers kind of clank down. Where she just Ugh. is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, I can't try to grapple her, right? That's an action. That's an action. Okay, then. It's yeah, okay. That, my that's on my. Phelan. Already, my. Um, <clears throat> he'll probably kind of move right here then. Um. I, it, he's kind of conflicted, you know. Um, he'll probably hold action if she 
tries to attack again, then he'll he'll attack, but okay. he'll, he'll, he'll wait. Your swords kind of out to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, how like does she look like a strong enemy? She doesn't look like she's like she's not huge. She's maybe about like five, five and a half feet tall. Um, she's really thin, um, okay. and she looks very dexterous. I will huck a dart at her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is nineteen. Or sorry, dirty twenty. Uh, dirty twenty. Does... Yep. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, she. D- I don't think she does the command until her turn. Yeah, it's it's on her turn. Oh, got it. She's she, gonna she her... do it. Yeah, she uses her whole turn to do that. Got it. Thanks. So um, so Sybils won't have disadvantage on it. A throwing a dart at her. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, you throw the dart um, as she's going to attack. You, it, it strikes, kind of pierces through, hits her in the side. Just uh. for six piercing damage. Six piercing damage. Let me get this up in here. Um, um all right, core. I assume I know what command is. Do you? Roll Arcana. 15? Yes, you do. <laughs> All right. Um, if that's the case. Of course this 50 doesn't have that. That's fine. Um... I'm just going to kind of uh, come up to here, and I'm going to prepare mm-hmm. my action. I'm uh, waiting to see if it works or not. Okay. Um, as soon as she falls to the ground, I'm going to uh, grapple her. Basically just kind of force her down to stay onto the ground so right. that Lelia can do her thing. It's her turn. She falls to the ground immediately. It's all she does. You yep. go over and you grapple her. It's not hard at all. She's not moving. Um, Lelia, it's your turn. Um, she's going to just quickly place her hand on her and cast protection from evil and good. Okay. You reach out towards her and um, wh- how does that, uh, you have like a description for this spell. Yes. Uh, she, she, she like um, causes her hand to bleed a little bit using her like slightly clawed finger. Um, and then she kind of like almost with her blood draws like an X upon them as she's mm-hmm. saying um, something in celestial. Um, and as she lifts her hand away from it, the, the kind of a blue glow from the blood kind of spreads through them. Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. She kind of looks upwards, her. and you can see like her eyes beyond her mask are, are just kind of like witnessing this, almost like in awe, as it goes over and it kind of like forces itself into her face, and she kind of like like uh, kind of flops backwards onto the ground, and um, you hear her just kind of uh, kind of yell out. She's like, ah! she hits the ground, and she kind of goes limp. Do we still do I still see the enchantment magic affecting her? Nope. Is she unconscious or is she just no. like in She's shock? breathing? It's about a moment. I'm going to I'm gonna cause I figure when I grappled, she did cause she was kinda like on the ground. I figure I kinda like got on top of her and forced her to stay down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna She then get immediately up. I'm gonna get you off. hear her hold up her you see she holds up her hands and she says, Stop, 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 stop. I'm sorry. The magic Wait. is not affecting you anymore. I can explain. Do you guys stop? Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys are no longer in combat. <laughs> Finn's gonna like. She no. slowly kind of stands up. My name is Linyara. Yes. L I N Y A R A. Yep, there was a note <laughs> about her in the last game, so I already have the name. What exactly is happening? I'm not entirely certain. Tetheros did something to me. And did it to many others as well. He's using us for some sort of army. Enchantment magic. Probably a domination spell of some sort. I'm not the only one. 
He, um... He's been using me for the past couple of months. He's trying to build something, some sort of army. He wants to bring an army of, of dead in, into the material plane. And wipe out as many as he can. That or his love. Sense. His what? I don't understand. In my head, it's a different memory. It's a different me. Sounds like a shit plan. He's trying to... Um, he's trying to win favor. Of? The Raven Queen. Okay, who's that? She's um. She's a. Uh, Goddess of death. death. All right, like makes sense that you would know that. I, I think he wants to send as many people as he can to her, to win some sort of favor. We're her servants, not her servants, but her chosen's. She kind of goes up to her mask and she pulls it off. She has very uh, elven features. She almost looks like Kor, but her skin is a very dull gray color. She, her eyes are completely black. Um, and she has like markings on the side of like her skin. She says, we are the Shadar Kai. Did Jordan die? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm I'm taking in the story. He's do I know, uh, you know where I'm from and all that place. Do I know what Shadow Kai are? No, no. Okay. Do I? I no. do. No. Well, Lo Logan, Logan does. does. <laughs> yeah. does no, none of you have ever heard of the Shadow Kai before. Not even you, Lee. Because they don't matter. <laughs> Not to you. And she says, Tetheros is another Shadow Kai. He's infatuated with the Raven Queen. Mm. And he thinks that this will win him something. He's using anything in his power to get what he wants. And he needs these keys, these pieces? Of... It sounds like they're... Eight keys, yes. They're uh, an ancient artifact created during the God's War. A, um, they'll open portals. Hundreds of them in the shadow fell to here. It was shattered and destroyed thousands of years ago in this spot. And he's, I've been digging for them. What shards mean? You're looking for the shards of them? We found two. We should get rid of them, destroy them, do something with them. Do you know Where are they? Are? She kind of goes around this desk here and she reaches into like one of the drawers. And she pulls out two pieces of, of metal. Um, they're uh, they're like warped and like like almost like a crumpled piece of paper that's been uncrumpled. Um, they have like designs and whatnot on the sides of them. There's like two square pieces, and she pulls them out. She says, "These are them." Take them. She kind of holds them closer to herself. She says, "How do I know I can trust you?" We didn't we kill just you. Just saved you. I can tell you what happened to Dunwell. Tell me. I, I was uh, trying to earn money. I was looking for uh, a lost child. Uh, this town had a, uh, I don't know, some silly, uh, I don't know. The children would go to this abandoned tower to prove that they're, I don't know, cool, uh, a, an adult, something like that, I don't know. And um, one of them didn't come back. And so they sent me there to look for him. Uh, there was a portal to the Shadowfell there. Um, something came out of it, some type of shadow dog. It, I think it's what killed Dunlow, or mortally. He's trying to close them. I closed it. It's, it's closed. Well, thank you. We did what you could not. I've seen them popping up too. I've been to the Shadowfell. All six of he us hands have. the two pieces to you. All of you have. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
There was one outside of all of the Not town. a happy place. No. There is another it's person cool. working against this. Well, we met Tatheros there. We fought him. And fought is a generous statement. We almost were killed by him. <laughs> we destroyed him. We were almost killed by memory. him. And his yes, he's a... undead army. He's... I don't know what he is. He's done something. He has a uh, pet. The dragon. He, um... This dragon who was banished from this plane to the Shadowfell, and he, uh... He found its corpse and revived it and bent it to his will. It's Oth Osphithus. Let's um, kind of look at the little thing that's on the uh, stand there. Okay, yeah, it's like a gem. It's like this nice little gem. You're kind of looking at it. Kurt's going to take it. It's a fucking treasure. You're going to just take it? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> you you kind of take it. She notices. She kind of turns over and, and she looks at you and she says... Disdainfully. Um... <laughs> If you want to get out of here, you might want to leave that there. What does it do? I figure it's, it does um, something. It, uh, it's, it's transportation. It's, teleporta it's a teleportation device. Mm -hmm. Cast the gate spell. Look, um, you came here and you... Did you stop the... And she kind of walks over to the edge over here and she looks at the thing. She says, you did. You stopped yes. all of it. Yes. I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. I, my mind was muddled. You have no reason to we trust noticed. us. We just met. And... <clears throat> Tetheros had your mind. She comes over to here and she says, anything you need to know, I can answer your questions. Also, my Zorn have... His Zorn have found many things from killing people from the past couple of months. Uh, if you want them, they're yours. And she okay, kind of I... reaches under like her desk and she like pulls a lever and um, a small opening kind of opens up on the floor. Okay, what? I do, Sorry. I do have a question. A while ago, I found this little fat furry thing that just kind of clung, clinged to me until it died in the shadow fell. Do you know what those are called? Um... Uh, Thinking about Gerbo? Yeah, Gerbo. I yeah. don't know what he was. He never sold me. I thought you knew what that was. No, I picked him up. I was he knows what he was. A halfling, but oh, um, no. Philip will try never his mind. best to describe what Gerbo looked like. She's like, I've never heard of that thing ever. Shit. So you can't tell is. us everything. Babe, this is this game's cornbread. Gerbo. <laughs> Gerbo's the queen. <laughs> Gerbo's dead, though. That's right. Um, she says, uh, any information you need, it, it's all here. And she kind of um, takes uh, this like piece of paper, um, a couple of them, she kind of hands them over towards you, Philip, and she kind of spreads them out. It's a bunch of like, information of where they got certain things. Uh, Philip's going to kind of put it in a little stack and hand it to Cor. Okay. I'll take it. Probably better to look over those than me. Um, Are you looking over it, Cor? Uh, yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, you go over. Um, it looks like a list, uh, a list of like different people and, and like plans. Um, it seems like he plans on opening like almost like two portals around every city, um, and, and just Arby's. decimating as many as he can as soon as he has the the pieces. Um, he's currently building up a small army in a fort, and you see like a map towards that. And you also see um, another piece of paper has plans towards uh, the gem in the center of the room over there, um, uh, where it was purchased and where. Um, uh, it was used um, uh, and built. As I kind of go over that in the portals and stuff, I'll look to I'll look to uh, Linyara. Has Tethros allied with anyone? No. No. The land here was saying that the he's out for himself. Dwarves. Anybody that he can get, he's he's a, he's changing their mind for them. Seem like the type to have friends. So not did he bring the, not allied, but did he bring the dwarves from Thelagon here? Dwarves. That's what I'm wondering. Yes. How? You, you, the gem? 
I mean, it's the middle of that. He opened a portal from Delagon over to here. Sent a bunch of attacking troops into a city. Yes. Destroyed it. He took most of the bodies. I'm sure, I assume those would be his army. Most of it. We need to get back to our friend. He'll know Do what we to have do one with of us. those. Yes. Did Did Tetheros mention um a horn of or Orcus? Our friend is looking for that. A what? The horn of Orcus. Horn? He said it could help raise undead. The Talon. Talon, yeah. <laughs> He's the Talon of Orcus. He uses it. It grants him power to bring death at a uh, much quicker rate. Tetheros has it. Bring back the dead at a much quicker rate. Ah. Yes. He's been searching for it for a long time. He found it about a week or so ago. Ah, oh, shit. It's what I was trying to prevent him from getting back when he attacked the By jumping into a cart governed by a giant dead dragon? Mm hmm Ah. Well, we had no option then. Yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment. It, it was we my life found or out. many others. Yes, but we wouldn't It was my original thought, but I got told otherwise. Yes, we wouldn't have found out now. What we we wouldn't have found out what we have now if we had stayed behind there. We would have all just died. So there was there was some talk earlier of uh, <laughs> items. Oh yeah, yeah. Kurt is like, I just want to look at some shit. I just Kurt's want like, give me the loot. The camera I just need... pans over and clicks <laughs> yeah. the hole. Yeah, just like, what, what's down here? Someone's got to look. Please, we're so broke. Um, yeah, yeah, I yes. have no money. I have yes. no right, gold. Kurt. Five silver. Uh, no. Kurt, roll a D eight. Six. Six. I think I am technically the richest druid on this continent. <laughs> uh, you would not be wrong. <laughs> By the All way, right, um, in this in this small little hole is six hundred gold pieces. <gasps> it's probably ours. Yeah, go ahead and roll a, uh, another D eight, Kurt. Oh, one. One. <laughs> Um, one right. platinum. One yeah. platinum. One silver. And it's got some sticky stuff <laughs> it's on just it. Just a pile of gold with one platinum. Coin. Go ahead and roll a d4. A pile of one platinum. Yeah. <laughs> it's set on a bunch of rocks. Two. <laughs> yeah, they're all pebbles. Okay, so you find um, there's also five items in this hole. Um, God, we're gonna have to duke it out, guys. Yeah, the six of us and those five items. You guys items. can roll. I don't. I don't. I don't have to roll. It's all right. I'll um, kill everybody. Kurt, roll percentage. Roll percentage check. Percentage. And just for everybody to know, uh, I'm using a, a new uh, magic oh, item. I'm using my that cool I table built that I myself. made. It took too long, <laughs> and I'm gonna make a video about it in like a couple of days. You. Okay, hey, Mr. Humblebrag. <laughs> Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Pick a weapon. Any kind of weapon. Ask a source. <laughs> Uh, a can of spaghetti. <laughs> Rapier. Yeah. Rapier. Um, let's do um, one of those. A letter opener. That'd be yeah, polite. let's do like a uh, yeah, a great sword is fine. <laughs> All right, you find a great sword. <laughs> yeah. Philip in the back. You don't got to roll for me. <laughs> now he can hit us harder. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> oh god. Um, a straight jacket, maybe. Trick. A straight jacket. Uh, okay. Where the fuck? I think I dropped my only like D whatever. Hold on. We should commission that for uh, for Philip. Like seventy five. A straight jacket that's in like a little like little tiny foldable, but if you throw it at him, it just wraps around him. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your your Pokeball timeout. Like marble, it's like black and like swirling on the inside of it. I think there's some kind of like energy going on in the middle. No, what we need to get is like a suit of armor for Philip that when one of us speaks a power word, it binds. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lelia, roll a percentage. That's too much power. Prisoner's visage. <laughs> Tetheros is just like, ah, I've learned the command word. Now you can do nothing. Flapjacks. 
Ah, shit. <laughs> Rosemary. What'd you get? One. One? One percent. Sounds about right. Another the letter one. Check. What? The letter what? One? Yeah. Uh, 61 uh, a, a one, a one doesn't even say, like, gets an item. It just says, go down to the next table. <laughs> like, the, word, the next worth one. Skip. Hey, roll again. <laughs> roll again. Yeah. Skip that player. <laughs> well, that's a spinning dice. Jesus. It's just an illusion uh, of, like, 35. a full sword. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just uh, that. Find a, you find what looks like a scroll. That'd actually be a cool uh, item. Just like an illusory, beautiful sword. Yeah. And a bard just, just carries around. around. Yeah, exactly. I can't swing um, it, but it looks nice. Failing roll percentage. Oh, oh, cool. So Kurt's got a a great sword. Stibbles has got a little like, like bead. Oh, that is just for me. Yeah, it's a, well, well it's we can up trade. to you if you grabbed it. Yeah. I rolled a little bit better than Vilia, and that was four percent. Vilia found a scroll. <laughs> Failing, you got a what? Four percent. Four. Or 400, whichever one you want to take. Reroll. Dang it. <laughs> uh, 16. <laughs> you find a, a small red bead, much like Stibbles found, but this one's like red and like swirling on the inside of like red, orange, and yellow. Almost looks like flame. Uh oh. Um, so it's a and... swirling black ah! bead. Is just yeah, you have a, down. Stibbles is like a swirling black bead. Phelan found like a swirling red bead. And core roll percentage. I think I, I think I understand what has happened here. I, I no, think I've, I got a I've seen w what those do. Uh, uh, they are uh, for a special kind of play. Seventy-four. Okay, I don't know what that means. I'm probably gonna throw it at somebody I, or I maybe try to know. eat it. I actually oh, don't want to know. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, so if I throw it at somebody or eat it, it'll still get used well, properly. Well, you don't throw it. I will say that. Find okay. a trident core. So I <laughs> <A> trident. <eat> it. <laughs> yeah, rooting around. Okay. Here's a trident. <laughs> yeah, it's a trident. It's got like um, it's like blue and gold um along the side. Isn't a trident a two-handed weapon? I don't know. Uh, it's it's versatile. Yeah. All right. And that's all you find. Cool. Well, I have um, no idea how to use this. <laughs> I'll I'll, Lilia, I'll look over there. Oh, I'll look over to Lelia, and I'll offer the trident for the scroll. She just gives you the scroll, but doesn't take the trident. <laughs> I set Pull the trident the down. I can use neither of these. I things. literally set the trident down after I take the scroll. Okay, we'll grab and, that trident. Yep. And I'll, <laughs> and I'll, and I'll, for that. just like vacuuming up items. Like, oh, I'm you just, don't want that? I'll take it. I'm just yes. like, imagining the taunt that Palutena does where she spins, but it's <laughs> Kurt with the trident. <laughs> I'm going to open up the scroll. Uh, what spell is it? Uh, make an arcana check. Oh! You put 22. the bead up your butt. Yes. No, no. There it is. <laughs> okay. I just got that. That would probably be yep. the worst mm -hmm. I would... thing to do with that if it's what I think it is. Would, what do you think it is? Yes, I would recommend you figure out what it does before you put it. Um, uh, maybe you put it up your butt to figure it, out it, what it does. It, it, in <laughs> That's one way. In character, I don't know. Out of character, I'm guessing it's a bead of fireball. So that would be pretty bad. <laughs> no, I think Phelan's is. That's what, yeah, that's what I meant. No, mine's, I, mine is just darkness. So I just get darkness up Anyways, my butt. Anyways, a 22 on that arcana check. <laughs> it is, is like just non-detection. Just like... Surpassed his own self. I'll, He's just like. I'll roll it up just... and put it away. It what what level is non detection? Third. Okay. Once I learn a bit more about how magic works, I can. Uh, Spencer write this dead. In the book. Nice. Um, I don't really have a use for the trident. I can't. I, oh, I can't uh, there's it. also a book. Um, I am not, not in the hole. Not in the hole. Just kidding. Just kidding. I am interested but, in the book. It says a book. The what book, book? Uh, is like a shelf, like with a bunch of books. Okay, I'll go over to the shelf of books. All right, you go through. Um, roll investigation. What's everybody else doing? Um, it has it been longer than ten minutes? Because I would have detect magic yes. on. Um, oh yes. Yeah. So and I believe uh, four would as well. Okay, so Kurt's um, the sword. <laughs> Give me a second. Jacob's like, wait, what is a plus one sword identify as? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it damn well wants. 
Pointy. Swords transmutation. Okay. Sharp. <laughs> um, Stibbles, you found a bead of darkness? Yes. Supposedly. Is it illusion Supposedly. magic or conjuration? Uh, no, it is um, It is Nicole. abjuration. Fuck. I, yeah, don't put that up my butt, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it will abjure my butt. The bead of force. <laughs> abjure my butt. Be the force, no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> sort of raw force, not even the energy. <laughs> My God. Um, the, well, like uh, if it's a be the force, like like a really small force, like controlled force. One would hope. One can only hope. Um, the scroll uh, glows abjuration. Uh, the bead that Phelan has glows evocation. And the trident. It's just a trident. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just cool. regular trident. It's just cool looking. Uh, enchantment. Oh, I wonder if that's the uh, oh, fish God command. <laughs> Stupid no. ass item. <laughs> this fuck. It's the best I, item. I if made you're a, in the ocean. I made a character completely designed around the fact that they came from the ocean and didn't take it. Um. <laughs> When I got had the opportunity to. Philip will kind of just wait for everyone to be ready. Uh, yeah. 21 on that investigation check. You find a book, and this book looks to be a spell book. Mm, pocketing that. <laughs> That's me. That's my... Um, Question. Yeah. I can't prepare spells from that spell book, right? I yeah. have to copy them. You have to translate them. Okay. Yep, you have to copy them. Just get a wider, a wider book binding. <laughs> just get just, just add together. them to the book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's how it works. Lily will go over to the to the woman. Okay. Um, what What does the mask mean? It's a fantastic our film. We are um, often reborn, mm -hmm. and. We take on new identities. Sometimes this face can get old. The mask represents um, one who gave his life, Raven Queen. She wears many, many masks. And we try to do the same. Do not worry, Philip. Though I'm sad that he is gone, I, he will return. Shadar Kai never truly die. Sorry, I couldn't help. Bars. That rhymed. Does anyone no, remember? Uh, oh. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Do you know of another like you? Lucius? Do not know that name. Okay. Not immediately, though I do you remember? I don't know. Why? Someone I know. Hmm. Kurt uh, would like to inquire about the giant gem. Okay. Uh, that, uh, <clears throat> that was raw magic. How did you do that? Uh, Tetheros sent a couple of us to gather it. We sailed across the ocean to this island and found it. We bought it, traded it from these people. They made many, many different items. And uh, he wanted this specific one. They're written down in that ledger over there called the Purple Company. I'm sorry, what? It's written down in that ledger over there. Kurt goes over to the ledger. You look over it. You kind of scan it down and look at all of the, uh, the. it's almost like a receipt. And, it, and it's, uh, it's a gem of earth elemental command. And it is that signed is... near the bottom. Interesting. Like the purple company. 
You demonizing me? The purple company? Where, uh, what island? Uh, you said you went to an island and, and these people made this? Yes, uh, it, was, it was a couple of days on the ocean. Almost uh, a week and a half uh, to the... Uh, um, to the e to the west. Do you have a map? Uh, I I don't. I didn't lead the expedition. What will you do? Tether us. There's will something. Know. I think we Sorry, should what? take her to Klausiker. That's what I was thinking. What will you do? I will go back to the Shadowfell and try to stay away as far as I can from this. There is a Are man sure that is. That? Aren't you kind of already involved in this? There is a man that is powerful in this country that would probably wouldn't mind an advisor in what's happening. And if Tetheros learns of your betrayal, which I'm sure he will, I do not know how long you could avoid him if he is as powerful as you say he is. You have to stop him. Man. That's the plan. Someone has to stop him. Yes. I can't do it by myself. Clearly. So join us. Not specifically us, but... Roll persuasion. Cool. Can I, since, since, like, kind of everyone was talking, can I, can I take a help with that? Or... You can have advantage. Cool. That, that's essentially what I was asking for. Because this is not Cora Strong's thought. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, D and D Beyond. What are you doing? So I got a fifteen and a zero. So Ooh. fifteen. <laughs> she kind of composes herself a bit, and she looks up. I suppose you're right. I am involved, but I can't do it alone. I'll need your help. Of course. He has a fortress. It's a couple of days south from here. It uh, used to be a part of some war a couple of years ago. He's refurbished it, taken it upon his own. He's working his army out of there. Can the gate take us anywhere? Mm -hmm. It can. All Once. Right. Let me find... He holds the other side of this gate. As soon as we use it, we're done. We get a one-stop direction to anywhere you want to go. Um, Jacob, I have a, uh... Or a one-way. Where the fuck is it? I know I had that. Because I kept a hold of it. Does, they, does someone else have the scroll of sending? I don't. That we were given We were given one by Klaas, yeah? Am I stupid? Yes, we were. Yeah, what Somebody, the, Klaas um, did give you a scroll of sending. Okay. You just might not have entered it in. Or maybe it uh, disappeared, I don't know. You would have given it to Kor. <laughs> Because Cora was going to learn. Cora, I, well, I originally intended on inscribing it in my book. Got I'll it. pull out the scroll and I'll open okay. it. And I'll open it. Do you cast magic? Uh, Me? No, that wouldn't work. Never mind. I, I know the man that we're supposed to be casting it to. <sighs> Never used this spell before. Um, there's a man that likely be helpful. If he can tell us where he is, then we can go to him. A scroll of sending. All right. I'll uh, I'll kind of look. One oh, moment. I'm gonna need to focus a lot for this. And okay. I'm gonna kind of sit is down. Going like over here. <laughs> and I'll kind of kind of sit down and open the scroll up, and just kind of study over it a little bit. Um. And I'm going to pull out the uh, rapier, okay. and uh, I'm going to uh, kind of take it, and that's how I imagine, because when you use a scroll, it's it's gone. So she kind yeah. of takes it, and she takes her rapier, and she just kind of takes it down, and just, like, swipes it quickly across the, uh, across the scroll, and right. then slaps it up against the cloak. And the cloak starts to glow in this magic, and she attempts to cast Sending. Alright, make a, you have to roll your spellcasting ability modifier. Yep. Come on. Does someone have a card? 
I do. Use it. Thank you. That, I'll take a three out of the five. Uh, three? Yeah. So, for reference, I had rolled a 11. Oh, no. Is it like a two? It's a plus three. Oh! <gasps> it's enough. You swipe through. You nearly fail to cast the spell. And then it comes to you. <laughs> it's able to come through. It's magic you're not entirely familiar with yet, but you're able to kind of push through and um, expend this spell scroll in order to, to cast it. You have 25 words. Perfect. Classicer, we have learned much info. Important must get to you now. We can teleport there. Where are you? Good. Still in Whitmore. And I assume, I assume kind of what happens is that she kind of slaps it against the rapier and the magic flows across the cloak. Mm -hmm. They kind of see it kind of uh, uh, coalesce and just kind of float up. And then yeah. magic kind of swash down over core as she gets the message back. Perfect. <sighs> Whitmore. That's where we're going. Well, what's a Whitmore? Uh, it's, uh... Where we're going? Small town. Uh, it's about... Uh, ten days. About ten days south, yeah. Okay. Which more interview? Sure. Five days. Whoa, whoa. I was wrong. <laughs> Five days. Oh, hold on here a minute. Um, are we are we just gonna just leave uh, a a giant uh, uh, enchanted uh, diamond? Is there anything we can do about that? We should probably try and blow it up. I can't get rid of the magic in it. Nor can I. Don't think that blowing it up will. Concluded. We are a bunch of losers. Let's move on. I mean, it was you're difficult more than. Move. What did you say? I, I you can to you over. You, you can go ahead and go try to blow it up if you want, but I'm. No, I, I tried. Didn't work out very well. And if no one else can do it or wants to take the risk, I'm definitely not the first guy to do anything. We can try to take it with us. It would take many of us to grab it and take it. I can be a horse if that you, works. You, she just points at at Kurt. You, you're you're not wrong. We need to. Yes. It can still be utilized. It can go it, through the gate. It can go through. There's the a gate. gate? It's a oh, spell. the magic thing. Yes. Can if we, it can go through the gate, could, we should take it. Could yeah, I could just probably bring the gem to over there. That's that's what I'm saying. We should pick it up and take it with us through the gate. I think okay. I think the gate is linked to the location that this that the gems are at. I don't think we can move the gems and still cast a spell. It's worth a try. All right, and I'll start going over towards the gym. Okay. Uh, she than follows. Just me. <laughs> um, and she comes over and she says, "Actually, now that I think about it, I have a very easy way we can move this." She kind of reaches back. She casts a spell, and the whole thing kind of like kind of like groans and creaks and then psh, she like hits it and it like floats as if it has no gravity to it whatsoever oh i could have done that <laughs> um she says there let's move it um and she kind of gets around to the back side of it and she says i'll need help uh, i'll go over yeah all right Philip you guys kind of go over and kind of push it and kind of uh it easily kind of like floats its way up almost like a <laughs> balloon just kind of up the stairway over towards the doors and uh Oh my god, I can actually do this. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I can <Please>. move it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, you guys have the giant gem. Um, and you are... Is, it, it... is there anything else about the purple company? Anything? Yeah. It Curtis is madly searching through the papers. Um... No, it, it is really, it's more of just a documentation of the fact that it happened. Like, it's this gem, it was purchased here, it was purchased for 10,000 gold pieces, um, and uh, it was to be delivered to um, uh, uh, Tetheros, just one name, Tetheros. That doesn't um, say, like, um, here as in at this location right here, or like... No, nope, it's just name. like, it's just like a proof of purchase. It doesn't I'm, have, like, a location. I will take it. All right. No shipping address. 
Yeah. <laughs> Philip's gonna take that map that she had. Okay. You take it. Um, you guys go over and she goes over to the, the kind of gem thing and she begins to, she like kind of twists it and it like clicks um, and a bit of light kind of like shines through it, almost like a prism <laughs> and it hits the other one and it begins to open up and she says, Whitmore? Yes, Whitmore and Avigia. Right, she kind of whispers to it and he watches on the wall opposite of this uh, thing, uh, it, a, uh, the wall just kind of opens up this blue glowing uh, electric circle uh, sparks to life on the side of the wall and it's just darkness in, in the middle of it. And she says, well, there we go. We have about 10 seconds. I jump go. through. <laughs> yeah, we go. <laughs> I'll, I'll ma make sure that Jim gets through and I'm going to okay. make sure that she goes too. Perfect. You guys, yeah, she goes through, she jumps through, you guys take the gem, it floats its way on through and you guys all step into the portal to make your way to Whitmore back where all of this started but that is where we're going to end tonight's game oh fuck all right. oh fuck <clears throat> figure it's a good stopping point yeah yeah i like that i don't want to stop i know <laughs> I, I i i do like this as a stopping point as much as it sucks to stop now um cool guys thanks for playing. Level Thanks up. everybody else for joining us. Yeah. Um, as some secrets have been Revealed. unveiled. Ooh. A little bit. <laughs> uh, we will see you guys next week with another yeah. with another episode of Adventures of Avenue. Tyler D oh. Dungeon Mastering our first episode of season two, because we finished season one last week. So mm -hmm. that'll be pretty exciting. Yep. And we'll be back in again in about two weeks with another episode of Evenfall. Heck yeah. All of us will be back unless Logan has to randomly go to a wedding. <laughs> yeah, a, a third one. And then uh, yours soon just, enough. Just throwing oh, yeah, this we'll out be there. Soon. Just throwing this out there for uh, for those of you on the Twitch stream. Um, we're gonna raid Wes IRL today. They're currently playing a D and D game. So well, right before we wrap up, I'm gonna send that. Great. Right. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you to our patrons. Thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring this. Thank you to everybody who's donating and sending us bits. And thank you to all of you uh, for playing the game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll see you guys next time. And that is the end of the stream. Hey.